Oh god, there's so many people here. Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, I'll start. Anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Shio. Um, I'll be the dungeon meowster for this campaign. Uh, this is a homebrew campaign. Um, we're gonna have a prologue before we get into the nitty gritty, but it'll be a dark fantasy um go through. We're using fifth edition rule sets. Um none of the other players have played. I have years of experience, so I'm gonna try to guide them along. Um, anybody who's into rules layering, like, they don't know how to play, so no point in pointing things out that are like little details. Um, yeah, so who else we got here? Ross? Dave? Yes. Dave? What happened? I'm ready. Who are you guys? <laughs> in case anybody uh, doesn't know. I'm Sirocco. I'm an Air Ganassi. No, no, who is? Uh, who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm Faraz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Faraz For... is method acting. That's what he is. I, I don't know. I'm just Faraz. Hey, I, uh, I uh, play games, and uh, I'm from Canada. <clears throat> oh, I am yeah. Rugar. No, no, no. Oh, you have are to, we... Who are oh. you? Oh, I'm Kay Woody, man. What else are we supposed to say? I'm from What's the United States pie? of America. Whatever you want. Uh, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i am k woody quitty k dub all the above you know and uh yeah i'm just a chill dude who likes to play games and have fun and meet new friends yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was well punctuated for us yeah and uh i'm dave yo so and normally uh, normally i'm scottish I had planned on trying to see how far I could go and just lie and say I'm American. But I didn't realize that Shio and Faraz was, were already streaming, so that's not going to fly. I play uh, video games. Hello. And you have a wife? I do. I have one entire wife. One entire wife. Yep. Cool. Not any bit missing. Okay. Um, well, have you guys describe your characters in just a moment? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry if I'm like super nervous. Oh, you're fine. Okay, Shetlandia. Um, one of the most eastern counties of the continent, Chuplandia is an unassuming but bustling haven for trade and commerce. Access to the ocean via port is in contrast to the apparent sleepiness of many towns and farmsteads dotted about the county. A series of mines lay to the north, the industrial heartlands of the region. A constant stream of horse-drawn wagons lined the roadways between the port and the mines, intermingled with citizens plying their market town trades. Merchants sailing vessels come and go from the port at all hours, underlining how self-sufficient and affluent Choplandia has become over the past century. Um... We'll be focused in on East Havervale. So a dozen miles inland from the port, East Havervale is home to some of the magnets of industry in Choplandia. Rare goods inevitably find their way through the town, and the southernmost tip of Choplandian mines intrude into the north of the town limits, the foothills of mountains busy with the comings and goings of the minor dwarfs. A peaceful place to live over the last few de decades it has attracted wealth, and is now seen as one of the most desirable places to live in the country. Helped, not unsubstantially, by farming subsidies from the continent's central government, arts, crafts, and fine dining have all become somewhat of a specialty in East Haverville, and the fickle artisan life sits neatly in lockstep with more traditional industry. Um... Frost, can I get you to introduce your character? You can... Okay. So my character is named Sirocco. And he's an heir Genasi. And uh, you want the whole backstory? Um, you can give a brief backstory or as much as you want to disclose. You know, if you want to keep so, some stuff secret. I was a famous chef uh, long ago. A famous chef. And then some bad stuff happened. I went to jail. <laughs> then I got out of jail. And uh and uh I'm a rogue. 
and I uh, steal stuff. That's me, Tiroko. Okay. Um, a small disheveled tavern built from hewn stone on the edge of town with a weathered mossy exterior and a crooked sign glistening by the light of a single flickering lamp. A trail of smoke rises lazily into the cool and moist air from a short chimney on the slate roof of the tavern. Inside, a large fireplace spits and crackles against the cozy, warm atmosphere, offset by an old smell of burnt wood, stale tobacco smoke, and years of spilt beer. There are several large wooden tables, and at the largest is a group of half-orcs, clad in crudely crafted gear and animal skins. They're loud and obviously intoxicated. The bartender is a grisly-looking gnome, busy scratching numbers into a leather-bound ledger set in the bar. Um, Sirocco, you're going to be... Yes? You're, you're just relaxing. You're chilling in the tavern, okay? Okay. Enters in Rogar. What do we see of Rogar? Who's Rogar? I am Rogar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, who's, who's <laughs> describe your character. Oh, uh, yeah. I am Rogar. I am a warlock, and uh, so basically, <laughs> I was in this academy. What was it called against you? I'm sorry. Uh, our uh, um, our the warlock. Cosmic Order. Yeah, the Cosmic Order, and I happened to find a, a a spell book in our library that was like locked and chained. It was like a forbidden book, and I uh I decided to uh to take it, and it was illegal, so they're about to kill me. So I opened up the book, and I just signed a pack with this this uh demon. That was part of the, you know, the spells in the book. And he made, he said, you know, I'll save your life if you, you know, make a pact with me. So I did it. And I killed everybody. Now I got all this power, <laughs> but I'm kind of under the sub submissive force of this demon. But I have his powers. And now I'm, I'm going rogue. Because I'm Rogar. Yeah. Um, following Rogar, my dragonborn warlock, is Baron. Baron is a dwarf whose entire life has been turned upside down. He believed in law and order and good and honest people. Until the person that he trusted, he idolized most. It's turned out to be the very worst kind of person, the absolute scum of the earth. And not only that, but it's cost him, discovering this alone has cost him his entire life. All the people that he loved, all of the things that he knew, he's been cast out and had indeed to flee. But he doesn't want to leave it there. So Fresh, fresh Prince of Bairn. Fresh Prince of Bairn Air, that's correct. His, his life got turned flip side upside down. <laughs> 100 uh, percent. Yeah. Yeah. And so now he's searching for some trustworthy people, if there are any, who can perhaps help him with what he wants to do, and he can help them with what they want to do. And everyone can go home happy, maybe. Or maybe not. We'll see. Um, the bartender uh, looks up at you two as you enter through the door that swings shut behind you. He nods once as a vague greeting, and he dives back into... Um, his ledger, hastily writing in another row of numbers below the dozens already there. Uh, you see above the bar um, the tavern name, Half Mast Tavern. Um, <laughs> there's plenty of seating. Very good. Um, Baron <clears throat> and Rogar, what are you? What are you up to? I'm sorry. I'm just in. I'm in shock. The the, the place is called Half Mast Tavern. Yeah, it's you know half a ship mast. Oh, that's of what course. they built it around. Yeah. Yeah. What else would it be? That how, how terrible of me to assume otherwise. Oh, well, I'm looking around trying to find somebody somewhere who looks capable. At least, I don't trust anyone. 
But if we can find someone capable, at least that's the start of it. Okay. Um, Sirako, so you're, you're sitting in this tavern. You're just relaxing, chilling, right? You see this dragonborn mm-hmm, and this mm-hmm. dwarf walk through. Um, everybody else is in uh, kind of a intoxicated state, um, except for these two newcomers. Um, do you signal towards them? Do you or do you interact? Do you ignore them? Are you sulking in the corner by yourself? Uh, I will. I'll take notice of them. I, I clearly notice them, but I'll, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. So okay. maybe I'll. I won't let them know I'm, I'm paying attention to them, but I'll spend the rest of the time paying paying attention to them. Okay. Um, Sirocco, a wiry, shrewd half elf approaches you. You recognize him to be Charlie. Um, he has physical strength beyond his modest physique. He wears a black shirt that's too small for him, and his gut kind of pokes down of this dirty white jacket. Um, he has long silver hair and thick dreadlocks, and he has piercing sky blue eyes. He has a clever face, chiseled features, and high cheekbones that wear the marks of recent great stress. Sirocco, mm-hmm. I got a job mm-hmm. for us. Just just came in from the Thieves' Guilds. But we need a crew. Uh, okay, then I'll say, hi, Charlie. Tell me about this job. All you need to know is we're going to make a lot of money. But I don't want to discuss it. Ah, prying ears, gestures at the intoxicated half-orcs. Mm, I say, okay. <laughs> so, all right. All right, let's go somewhere quiet then, Charlie. Get your man. We're out of here. Um, I gesture. I gesture to to the dwarf. Baron. I find myself with this. He's just gesturing at me. Who's who's this? <laughs> Who are you? Ah, uh, <laughs> me? Are you talking to me? Who are you? Yeah. Say hi, dwarf. My name is Sirocco, but you can call me Sir. I'll be doing no no such thing. No such thing at all. I, First, uh, you'll tell me why you're gesturing at me. Who, who are you? Why are you? Why are you pointing me like this? I don't know you. Who's that man? Okay, so then I'm, I'm I Charlie. will... I will... Uh, Take uh, take Charlie and say, "Hi, don't worry about him. He doesn't want the money." And I'll I'll start walking out of the bar with with Charlie, and I'll ignore Ralgar for now. Okay. Uh, Charlie looks back and he's like, "No money." Um. What about what about Rogar? What are you up to, Rogar? You see this interaction? It's right before you. You just entered with the dwarf. Yeah, I just stumbled in and. Oh, I should be uh, acting. Um, I I see these these two gentlemen, and it looks like they're plotting something. Like they need assistance, and I too, since I am now a rogue, I need companions on my travels. So I'm seeing if they're worthy enough to venture out with me into the world. So I think I might aid them. Okay. Um. So for now. Uh, Charlie, Sirocco, and Rogar begin ascending the steps. Um, there's plenty of seating in the bar, um, or you can find a table for yourself, uh, Baron. Um, I want to follow along and listen in. Okay. Are you going to be stealthy? I'm going to try and be stealthy. Give me, give me a stealth roll. Alrighty. Let's see. We've got. <laughs> We've got three. Okay. Um, give me a perception roll as well. All righty. 19. Okay. Um, Charlie leads, leads Sirocco and Roka. Are you two? He leads you up. Uh, he has a private room. Um, it's surprisingly large and clean. It's a spacious private bedroom. Um, which is like in stark contrast to the ramshackle and disheveled tavern below. Um, there's a huge four-poster bed, uh, 
and you see strewn about um, the luxurious red velvet sheets. Um, there's a bunch of expensive looking artwork. Um, there's a lot of wooden ornaments on the shelves and there's a large writing desk. You see rolled up blueprints, um, hand-drawn uh, prints and sketches, and it's just like this kind of cluttery mess. It leads you guys in. Um, Charlie looks at you, Sirocco. It's a heist. Words come in through the Thieves Guild. But this is a big one. Um, Baron, you can hear through the wall. Okay. But as as Charlie says it's a big one, he kind of like kicks his foot through the door and opens it, kind of gestures you inside. You too, out there. Let's go over the details. I feel like I'm being I'm being roped into thievery. <laughs> <sighs> By people I don't know. They look capable enough. Well, for now, I'm going to settle in and go along with things. If it seems like it's a bad idea, then we can always kill everyone and everything will be fine. So, okay. Um, I'm sure it won't come to that. Certainly. They can't be that bad. Certainly. Sirocco. It's Lord Sykar Oakbottom. He plans to sell his prized piece, the Feshton Alexandrite. Oh my gosh, it's going to be worth at least 10,000 gold. This is the big one. 10,000 gold, you say, Charlie. Did I hear you right? 10,000 gold. Oh my gosh, I'm going to retire. And say, 10,000 gold, Ralgar. That's your name, I know it. How do you know my name? I say 10,000 gold, Ralgar. Uh, and then I say, I was guessing. My <laughs> name is Sirocco, as I said earlier. 10,000 gold. Are you some kind of sorcerer? I, I am a, I am a, yes. Yes, I am, <laughs> Ralgar. You, you seem to have some kind of power. Would you oh. mind teaming up with me? I could use this money for my travels. I, uh, Chio, can I, uh, can I say power, you say? And then, uh, can I levitate him? Can you levitate? No. <laughs> can I levitate him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to use your... Roll or anything? I'm going to blast my... you, bro. I'm going to blast you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, no, you can just, you can just do it. Oh, I just do it? Yeah, I yeah. Just levitate, we'll just let it, I just yeah. levitate. Then I levitate him, and I say... Dip. I'm rolling a d20. I'm smacking him. <laughs> what? I got an eight. Blast him. Eldritch yeah, Blast. Uh, what's your AC? You don't do this. What's my AC? 15. Uh, Can I jump in the way? So, uh, I think these two, these, two are, these two have potential. They're crazy, <laughs> but they have potential. I want to jump in the way of this blast. I can take it. But it's, we okay. it's not going to hit me. down. It's, it, he still jumps. It's okay. Okay. Um, all right. Rogar, you, you let loose on an, an Eldritch Blast. Um, it looks like it's going far off center. It's going to miss him completely. However, uh, Baron, our, our dwarf, uh, jumps in at the last moment, taking the hit. Can I get damage? Do not put your hands on me, you fool. <laughs> Can you roll the damage on that? <laughs> oh, who, me? Uh, yeah. Is that a You're d20? Blessed. Oh. Um, no, it would be, I believe it's 1d8. A d8. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Um, in Fantasy Grounds, you can pull up your character sheet, and it'll just tell you like what, what rolls or what. I got a six. Okay. Uh, Baron, you, you jump in the way of this blast. Um, you fall backwards, and you kind of hear, like, everything settles down below you. The tavern kind of goes quiet for a second. Um, and then it kind of resumes. You hear the loud chatter below. Um, but you are visibly cinched. You're, you take six points of damage. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I need a breather after Me that. I need meanwhile, a Rogar, but... you are you are levitating in this room. So release me now, uh Suraku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what you did. Rogar. I was just having a bit Me? of fun. <laughs> Both of you calm down. 
I I look at uh Calm yourself. Baron, and I I I have a, a sad look, and and you know I regret <laughs> causing him to get singed. So I lower Ralgar down slowly, and I say ten thousand gold. <laughs> we could use that for good. Doesn't need to be used for whatever nonsense you've got planned for it. But we can we can split it. Aye, lad. We can split it. I'm in agreement with this, for we, I do need the money. The gold. Well, whatever you guys do, I'm going to retire. I've been waiting a long time for something like this to pass. Now look, and he hands, hands you each a flyer. The flyer is uh, for a gala event at Lord Sykar's, um estate. Shows that it's catered in-house by Chef Tea Leaf. Entertainment will be provided by the Froggy mm. Bottoms Boys. The Froggy and, Bottoms Boys. <laughs> uh, security will be provided by the Tony Squawk Security. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> what? They're great. Um, Lord Sykar, he's planning on selling this at the gala. The wealthiest merchants around will be there, and it's just in two days. Now, through connections, I've gotten us two tickets, but I like this is going to take all four of us. We got two days to figure something out. What time is it now? Um, maybe early, early evening. Mm. It's a bit late to go out, but maybe we should scope out the place. Um, what I propose is tomorrow, daytime. We go do a little investigation, you know, maybe there's a window we can prop open. Maybe, uh, I mean, Baron, you're looking pretty strong. Maybe you could, uh, work security. Who knows? But you want me to get have, employed there? We have two days <laughs> to figure out. And this is the biggest heist I've seen in the last 10 years easy. Well... I I don't have any better plan. If you think it's a good idea, then I'll go with it. Um, okay. What um, do we need to do? You should come up with a plan. <laughs> I need to know you guys' strengths and weaknesses, and we can go from there. Say, oh boy, oh, you know mine. And I give him a wink. I'm about to blast him again. I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, <just> kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna jump in the way again. I, I, I'm already regretting it the uh, first time. Yes. But fine. I'm. I can. I can handle any violence. If there's something that needs putting down, then we can do it. Violence, he says. Then I look at Charlie and say, 10,000 gold. <laughs> 10,000. He's fixated. Say, all right, boys, let's go and, and, and scope out the place. We'll decide tomorrow. Okay. Um, throughout the night, uh, Baron, um, long rest, you completely restore your hit points. Um, Sirocco, you get your, your spell back um, is how long rests work. So throughout the night, you guys can, can find a room or, or camp out in Charlie's room. Um, the next morning, um, it's quiet in the tavern. Um, the sun wakes you up. Uh, the sun wakes you up coming through your window. Um, Charlie's already getting ready. Uh, and he kind of like nudges you, Sirocco, with his foot Time to go. I want as much time to go. Let's let's go. You, you woke me up, thinking about me lucky charms. Ten thousand good. Ten thousand good. <laughs> Do I have any chance of waking up at all over hearing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You just hear them going on about ten thousand good. <laughs> Haunts my dreams. How much gold do we have, Shio? 
Oh yeah. Uh, you have ten gold each. Oh shit. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, ten thousand. That is a lot. Yeah. Dude. Ten. Ten thousand. <laughs> how much was it? How 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 many thousand gold was it again? I, I forget. Thousand called. This fool Sirocco was singing ten thousand gold in his sleep last night as I watched over you two. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's that's a little you didn't, bit creepy, you man. You didn't sleep? No, I don't sleep. He doesn't I'm sleep. A nocturnal oh. night. I, yeah, I just I just nap occasionally, but during the night I stay up and prowl over. I can cast a a demon spell to to watch over us, and I just be chilling. Or oh, okay. <laughs> How lucky we are to have your Algar. I'm not sure lucky is the word. I grin. I grin at Dave. At a uh, at Baron. Well, maybe it'll work out, but I'm not so comfortable with demons watching over me. Just don't piss me off, mate. <laughs> <sighs> this um, is going to be a long journey. <laughs> so Char Charlie leads you guys. He leads you guys down downstairs. The tavern is um, empty. The bartender kind of looks at you guys and scribbles something in his ledger. Um, getting to the Oak Bottom Estate is pretty easy. Um, it's the nicest place in the town. Um, as you guys approach, in front of you is a roughly paved driveway. Um, there's cracked stone tiles worn from years of passage of heavy carriages and metal shod horses. At the end of the drive is a large red brick house adorned with ornate windows and railed balconies on the wings. An imposing, hefty wooden door sits at the center, and steps leading up to it adorned with potter, potted green shrubs. Behind the manor house is a bustling farmstead with strangely well-dressed peasants tending to crops and animals, a small windmill lazily spinning in the warm breeze. Smoke curls from the chimney of adjacent buildings, also built in red brick, in contrast to the vivid green of the grass and golden crops surrounding them. A faint smell of freshly baking bread envelops the whole area, mixed with newly cut grass from the sides of the driveway to the house and the farmland. As you set off down the driveway, a group of stout, armed men leave the front door of the manor house. They're chattering excitedly about security as they pass. They glance suspiciously at the group and they make their way up the large iron cellar door. I want to ask those peasants about their clothes. Something seems off. Okay, so you want to like can we just, approach? Yeah, you guys can can leave the path and go up to the field. I think we should. What do you say? I take your eyes. Right. Uh, Baron, not Felgar. Baron. I agree, Baron. Something seems off. Um, as you you approach, one of them kind of looks up. Hello, sirs. How can I help you? I say hello. Oh. He like he like stops. What are you wearing? He like stops <laughs> raking the ground and kind of leans up on it. Say, so, hang, hang on, hang on. Just, just in the clothes. I uh, just wanted to say those are those are fine clothes. Where, where did you get them? I mean, Lord Saika pays as well. Best job in town. Best. Lord Saika, you say? Lord Saika. Tell me about this Lord Saika. He, uh, he owns the manor. Like, the manor, dishes. you say? What, what manor are you talking about? <laughs> uh, the. The house, the, that that house. He point. He points at the brick brick building behind you. Ah, it's a brick house, you say. What what's I in that brick house? <laughs> That's Lord Sakar's manor. So I sense a strange aura around this this house. Really? <laughs> I'd like to ask them a couple of more questions. Okay. If we can. So they pay they pay you really well, but 
Like you've got to be doing something to earn it. What, what are you doing? Right. I don't believe you're just looking after things. It's got to be a well, bit I'm more, right? Hands. Yeah, I tend, I tend with livestock. I brush Ooh. the horses in the morning. I make sure the cows are let out to pasture. Um, just do Let me put this another way. Are you paid to not do something? Maybe not see something? Not hear something? I can't disclose. I don't know what you're talking about. Kind of shies away. They I know say, something. Do you want Aaron, to be? There's something, there's something going on here. And I can't describe it, but it's fishy. <laughs> I mean, technically, that's that's describing it, but okay. <laughs> Can I blast him too? <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> You've got um, a temper. You've got a temper. Calm down. <laughs> you don't know my story, Bird. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and break him up. I'm gonna get in the middle and be like, boys, boys, boys. 10,000 gold. <laughs> you're right. You're right. We, we should we should press this a little bit. I mean, well, we could uh, we could squeeze it out of him, maybe. <laughs> I can um, walk up to him. Need somewhere private. private. And give, yeah. Give All right. Please. Can I just go to that person we just talked to and just like threaten them to tell us everything they know? I'm just yeah. Going, so, <laughs> so as you look around, uh, there's there's plenty of people coming and going from the manor. Um, out in the field, there's probably at least a dozen farmhands. Um, so you guys have just approached one of them, closest one. Um, you guys are out, it's the middle of the day, busy manor, busy farmstead, and you're just, just double checking. You're just going to go up and, and threaten him. Yeah, mm, we'll maybe pick him up. Could, uh, okay. lure him over somewhere. Okay. <laughs> you guys are yeah. fucking dead, man. I'll take care of this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll walk over to the, to the field. <laughs> I grab this man, pick him up into the air. Tell me what you know. And uh, I summon a demon. I will devour you right now. What? <laughs> Not tell me. Give, give me a give me a strength check to lift him up. And yeah, you right. can give me you can give me intimidation with advantage. Okay. Let's see. I got a three, man. <laughs> okay, so you, you grab him by the cuffs, you, you go to lift him. Um you slip though. Like his, I his, his nice, okay. yeah, he's got like nice, like fine, like twelve thousand thread cotton shirt. You just you know <laughs> drop him. Um, but give me with advantage intimidation. Uh, my int is zero, so yeah. Yeah, so just right. you'll yeah. roll, you'll roll. Uh, oh, do I roll twice, and then you'll give me the higher okay. number. Oh, uh, 18. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You can roll again and take the higher. Oh, okay. You might get a crit. Uh, five. Um, he kind of like, you can kind of see the fear swell up in his eyes. Look, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I'm just, all, all I know is sometimes some farmhands disappear. But that's all I know. I don't, I don't know what Lord Psychar does. I just know that sometimes there's weird disappearances. Then I... Okay, I'm going to walk up to him. I'm guessing he's still in Ralgar's arms. Yeah. Loving embrace. His loving embrace. Disappear to where, lad? I, I don't know. They just... Some wealthy Can I... people will come in at night and... And the next morning, we, we don't know where they've gone. <gasps> and I look at Baron. And I say, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Baron? What are you thinking? <laughs> Thou shouldn't go. <count. laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I look and I say, okay. I say, all right. You're holding back, aren't you? You're trying to protect someone, aren't you? And then I, uh, I maybe... Gesture to, to to Ralgar to squeeze a bit harder. I can do that. Crossing his esophagus, the genius <laughs> drooling. How's the uh, 
Is there no crowd? Anything like this going on? Are we drawing a bit um, much so attention? You've, you've uh, garnered the attention of some of the farmhands. They're kind of pointing at you and like whispering. Um, uh, you can see far off on the distance on the road um, the group of uh, people going on about security. They kind of like stopped and they're just like eyeballing you guys from like <laughs> like three hundred feet off. Okay. Uh, can we lie to the crowd? Can I lie to the crowd and just assure them everything is fine? Yeah. The there demon, is nothing the to see you. here. Move on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Give me a give me persuasion. <laughs> well, okay. What are you gonna? Right. Okay. So these people see you guys like you're roughing up this farm hands. You're going to town on them. What are you gonna say to them that's gonna calm them down? All of I'm you will say... suffer the same no. fate. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, calm down. This is fine. This man, he's a criminal. We, we've been chasing him for, for months. For months. He's been posing. You may think you know him. You may think you know him. He's not who you think he is. Leave this to us and don't worry. Everyone, you're safe now. I do a little dance in the background for effect. <laughs> okay, so give me, give me persuasion. Um... All right, let's go. Six plus one. Ah, <laughs> uh, they they start booing you. A couple more oh, arrive. I'm. Hey, get off our lands. This is our lands. Okay, we need a different <laughs> tag. Uh, if you I'm don't gonna... all leave right now, oh, I'm God. going to start cutting heads off from yeah. the front to the back. Let's. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like try and slip away. We're gonna intimidate like, just them from the group and pretend I'm one of the crowd. She okay? Do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do we, give me a give, give me, me a stealth roll. You're yeah. what is my stealth? Yeah, I'm, do, I'm gonna this? I'm gonna try and pretend I'm I'm not associated with you guys. Um, so roll up the two thousand gold, so you run it, what and then this? and then pipe up in support. You could help. Yeah, us. I could. Uh, let's see. Where is my uh, thing? It's characters. Uh, no. Um. Bad. Yeah. So in character, pull up your your character sheets, and it'll be under your skills tab. Right hand side. How come I cannot find skills with life? It's on the right. There's like a bunch of little tabs. Oh, yeah. Uh, click on your name on the top left, and then you get your skills. Yeah. Okay, my stealth is plus six. Right. So I roll a d20 plus six. That's great. I got a 20. You got a 20. I got a 20. You, uh, you, you slink off. Um, nobody takes notice at all. Um, you kind of get pushed into the crowd. They start raising pitchforks. Um, stop harassing us. We'll call the guard. We don't oh, need this I'll... harassment. Can I? Can I wait like a couple minutes? Yeah. And say, Hi. I know him. And then pause. He's the scourge of Timothy Town. Uh, and I point, point, point to, to the point to the guy that they're like or trying to. Okay. Artificially give, arrest. Give me, yeah. give me a uh, persuasion. Oh God, uh, persuasion. Um, you can do it with. You, Come you can on, give it with Siroko. advantage. We need you now. Yeah, plus we three. Need you. I, have a, I have a plus three, so I get to roll twice, right? Yep. Okay, got a three. That's not gonna work. <laughs> got a four. <laughs> you guys are fucked. <laughs> oh. The the skirt the skirt of what what did he say What did he say they all kind of Timothy whisper Town, around. I yell. I, I think he's making it up. I think. Look, is he one of them? Is he one oh, of them? Place. God. They point at you. They they turn their pitchfork against you. He's on their I side. Say, <laughs> whoa, 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 lads. Listen. Okay. Listen. And then I point to uh, uh, Dave, Baron, Baron. I and point. I'm going to point off in the other <laughs> direction. And I'm going to say, everyone, look out! And point over there. And then I'm going to run over and I'm going to grab Sirocco and he's coming under my arm. And Rogar, you and me and the man in your arm, we're out of here. Let's go. Uh, give me performance. Performance? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, you're, you're trying to get them to believe something over there. Okay. Got a five plus one. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, we fucked. They're, they're not buying it. They're not buying yeah. it. Uh, I'm gonna Sorry. I'm gonna have to shove my way through this crowd to to get Soroko back. There's no choice. Um. So you you can grab Soroko. You kind of pull him in. Uh, you you try to get like the oh look over there right what's going on over there they like look and they look back at you and they're they're, they're trying they're trying to kidnap him they're tr- call the guard <laughs> call the guard kidnap me <laughs> they're trying to kidnap me is that what they're thinking they're you, whoever the guy the the guy the first the guy. the guy you don't even know his name oh not me okay I'm just trying Muscus. to hold your ass out of there wait wait, wait. okay I, can I do something so I'm going to can I? Is there anybody that people don't seem to like or anything? Um, like just in the crowd, me. maybe someone looking. Oh, not not of not of us. <laughs> someone looking a little I bit gross or something. Yeah, yeah. There's here. like, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's there's um, like there's kind of like a weird goblin weird guy. It's like. Goblin. Face is kind of deformed a little bit. He's kind of got like a look uh, to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I. So what I do is I, I'm gonna levitate him <laughs> in the sky, really, really high. Okay. Not, not so high that he'll die, but I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna be like, "Hi, it's a demon. Look over there. It's a demon." And uh, I'm gonna point to him. He's levitating. Look, run for your lives. He'll kill you. Okay. What happens? Give me. Actually, I'll I'll just. I'm gonna roll intelligence. To Intelli- see how stupid I have a, they are. I have a zero. Well, no, I'm gonna roll it for the towns. Oh. Okay. To okay. See. I got a ten. So give me, give me a. Performance or persuasion or intimidation. Um, uh, you gotta beat a persuasion. 10. I have plus three, so I'll do persuasion. You only have to beat a ten. I got a fifteen plus three. <laughs> okay. Ooh. They all turn. Um, this must be the demon. He's the demon. They all kind of like raise their pitchforks at him, um, and kind of like. One starts like gathering hay, and another one's like flicking his matches. Um, guy. <laughs> around this guy. So, what These do you guys well prepared peasants? We uh, uh is this when we make our escape? Do we do we leave now? Or we got the information needed from the dude, right? So, I guess I uh, I th- the dude I'm holding, I throw him to the ground, okay, and tell him to to never speak of this again, or I will. <laughs> Have my demon devour you, and then we take our exit. And we plan for the break in of this guy's house. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows our faces that. now really, really well. We're going to need disguises. The, um, give me a perception check, somebody, whoever wants to, whoever wants to go for it. I have, I got this. Plus five. In go perception. for it. Zero, oh, zero. yeah, I only have plus. Two, so. Okay, ready? Fifteen plus five. What was the number? So twenty-four. Okay. Um, you you notice, uh, the the Tony Squawk security group. They're like eyeballing you guys hard. Um, they've clearly seen all of this, and they can recognize you. And they turn and they keep on their way. Mm, and I say, uh, I say, boys, I think they know who we are. What are we going to do? We, we've got to get a disguise. There's no choice. I agree with Burn. I, so, uh, but where do we get these disguises from? Those clothes they were wearing look pretty good. But how are we going to get any? We're going to be peasants. <laughs> yeah, we've got to be peasants. Okay. Get some pitchforks. We can blend right in. <laughs> it's pretty good for her. Um, um uh, Shio, don't I have like some spells like so where I can grab people with my hands or something like that? Can I do that? Can I scoop up a couple of these dudes? You just <laughs> scoop up people. I mean, we need outfits, like... man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Just take them. <laughs> what you mean? 
<laughs> yeah, we didn't do did everything else under the sun. Like, <laughs> okay, you got you got uh, mage hands, which you could use yeah. to like, lift up, but it's just like really light minor items. Like you can't lift a person with mage hands. I could. Okay. Could I take maybe one person under each arm? <laughs> You're gonna try to scoop them? people. I mean, yeah, so they, I these, to, are, these are like humans, so they're they're yeah, they're they tower heavy. above you. <laughs> yeah, but we're really strong. I'm really strong. Okay, Wait, so they, they power above us. No, no, uh, well, I'm, I'm a dwarf. Yeah, Baron's a dwarf. Oh, he's what like, the heck? So, oh, he's like four foot five. Man. Oh, uh, you gonna, well, we... you were gonna carry me in your arms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really full really dwarf. I'm drag you along. <laughs> I'm gonna drag you along with me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so you. Um, we need to find a way to to lure a few me, of them away. Let me just and clarify then we can this. Knock them out and take their outfits. Let me just clarify the scene. Are How there any like stragglers in the crowd or something like people that are not paying attention to the? Let me just clarify the scene. You guys, you guys roll up. You guys pass the security man? group. So I must have been muted. Let me let me clarify the scene. So you guys roll up. You guys pass the security. You go out into the field. You start harassing a guy. You draw a crowd. <laughs> You levitate one after threatening them and convince them that he's a demon and now you're going to try to kidnap them on your escape. <laughs> just, I just want to clarify. I just want to, you know, make sure I got all the details. We've got no, we've got no cover. We need cover. Um. <laughs> I, I think we should uh, find a little girl Give her a piece oh. of gold and convince her to like lure one of these three of these people away. Oh, like huh? like a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll trust her. They'll like, trust Mr. The Mr. Girl. over here, somebody That's needs help. And then, perfect. Perfect. We yeah. just need to tell, we don't even need to tell her the truth. We can tell her exactly. that there's someone over around there, our friend's in trouble. We need, we need someone to come and get She'll some take help. the gold. Yes. We just give them three girls, one piece of gold each in different sections. We only we'll get have 10, ten thousand back, but we're gonna get ten thousand gold, right? Okay. So we're okay. And we can we like, can get these back afterwards. Exactly. Yeah, just pickpocket the girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's... I will let you do that, uh, Siraku. I do not feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay, like so a you, demon holder. I'm not comfortable. You guys, you guys separate from the group. You notice, you notice Charlie kind of hanging about the doorway of the manor. Um, he's kind of like walking around the building, kind of checking, prodding here and there. Um, as you guys look around, there's, there's no kids on the farmstead. It's all adults working. Um, there's We're certainly welcome. women. Um, but you we can't. We use sexual persuasion. <laughs> you sexual persuasion ah, okay do it i'm like What's all right roll? i'm i take off my shirt i'm covered in dragonborn <laughs> tattoos bro and scales you're a scale yeah, yeah, freaking a packing and i just right. i can okay. i use the spell to seducer or something like, how do I... you don't got a spell to seducer uh, Wait, what you, are we gonna do can... after that, though? Wait, what is that? How's that gonna I, help? I don't know. Uh, what You're doing this, man. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm just staring with my mouth hanging open. That my <laughs> my traveling companion has now just decided he's gonna take off his clothes and walk out into the crowd. Okay. Well, I didn't think this through very much. Um. So you know what I say? I I I go to I go to go to Baron. I say, "Hi, <laughs> get your man. We're getting out of here. This is this is a failure." Agreed. Agreed. We've we've got to leave. This is this is to go right now. We're out of here. Quick, grab him. You grab one arm. I'll grab the other, and we're running. Right. I uh, I comply. Do we need a strength check for for the naked <laughs> for dragging away? Yeah, dragging Ro Ro Roger, are you gonna are you going to try to is he gonna try and fight? <laughs> try to fight. I mean. Yes, I resist. Wow! I need to fulfill my desires. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, well, then. yeah. Resist this. Okay, uh, strength, strength checks against each other. So whoever okay. gets the higher strength wins. 
Okay, but, but we're we're two on one. So sh do we get an advantage or anything? Yeah, I'll give you guys advantage. Okay, okay. Uh, so is... just have one of you roll. I've, um, I got the other one. Roll. Roll for it. I've rolled a okay. seven plus okay. a six. So you gotta roll again, Dave. Okay. Let's go. Because Soraka's there helping. Oh me. shit! I rolled a twelve. If that, I don't know if that oh. helps or anything. So shit. Hmm. I rolled I rolled again and got a two. Oh, but I guess I had a seven, okay. didn't I? So, it doesn't override. So okay. six, six so you plus guys, seven. You guys managed to overpower Rogar. Um I guess each each you grab and you, you kind of like Unhand me. <laughs> I am Rogar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Rogar now and you'll be Rogar tomorrow, and you'll be Rogar with clothes on before we get home. Come on. <laughs> um you guys as you guys pull Rogar away, Rogar, you see them kind of like constructing this um this large fire and they're they're like roping this guy and like tying him down. <laughs> <gasps> what who is doing that? The peasants. The demon. Oh, the, the, the guy that was levitating. They're like roping no. him down. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they think he's possessed by a demon. Oh God. Oh, Soraka, God. this is your doing. <laughs> this oh, this is your doing. We, you you've let him. What is this? But... Okay, you know, hey boys, we can't let him burn. It's your fault. <laughs> and then you're right. I, I, you know what to? I do? I will. Uh, can I? Okay. You know, uh, yeah. Is he being tied to a stake? Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. Tied to a stake. Okay. Burn this man. Can I? Uh... I've got it. Okay. I'm going to throw a hand axe hard enough to break the stake, to split if the stake miss. and free if him. you miss. I won't miss. I hit him between the eyes, bro. Uh, I won't miss. You miss. I will not miss. you got to trust. You got to right. roll. You're going to get a I three, bro. Like yeah, give me, give right. me a attack roll. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're throwing that hand axe. We're going we're gonna to get you free, mister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my friend. I <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is, we're not getting this gold. We're done. Oh god! Uh, I, I rolled a three. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Yeah! <laughs> I got a plus six. <laughs> a nine. That's not okay. Bad. A nine. So you you throw this hand axe. It whizzes through the air and it sticks against the stake that he's getting tied to. And like, yeah, yeah, let's rip him apart and then burn him. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know um, what one of the peasants grabs the hand axe um, no. and, and raises it above his head. I said, "Wait, wait!" And then I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at like a sheep or something, <laughs> and say, 10,000 gold for that sheep." Uh, I'm, and really I'm just going to distract. Oh my god! No, I'm Eldritch blasting the person the with the freaking no, not the sheep, man. The person trying to kill the dude, man. Right. <laughs> They're not going after no sheep right now. Are you crazy? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> well, are they going to go after the sheep? No, we got to blast them, bro. It's it's, it's just the end of the line. Dave missed. He failed. We got to. How many of them are you. there? Uh, there's probably about a dozen. A dozen. Okay, yeah, we oh, can take So it. there's 11, we 11 we guys. We can't kill a dozen people because <laughs> oh I my missed. God. Because you told terrible. a lie? <laughs> Wait, can it's we... It's my um, fault? You oh missed the act? Can we, you he's about my, to that you, man. Yo, can, can we... Dis we have to deceive him. Can I cast a spell to, like, deceive him or something? Or to, like, my deception plus six. Uh, um... Do I have any spells or anything like that? I, <laughs> I don't think you have any spells. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you got. So, um, I'm just gonna shoot them with my acid spray. I'll just kill them all. Like this, we'll just take their clothes, no. loot them. Um, we you could use do, I... you could use like your mage hand if you wanted to like grab the axe out of his arm, right? Let's do that. Yes, that's perfect. Let me okay. roll this. Sexual persuasion. You don't. <laughs> you got. I don't roll for this. No, no. So you you can cast oh. mage hand. Like you guys see this this um, ethereal hand kind of appear near the guy raise, raising the axe and it like grabs the axe and just like pulls it down of him. Um, what are you doing with it? 
Uh, the I whole crowd, freaking... they like, they look at the axe and they like see it. So what, what's happening with it? Yeah, I just freaking like yeet it to the nether. Um, <laughs> over to the, the mountains. Nether. Yes. And then, they, uh, your I, little, do they your know that hands, I did this? Or they just... <laughs> your little hand chucks the axe. It goes like 20 feet, falls in the field. <laughs> there will be no demon. blood slaughter He's here. He's a demon! <laughs> you blaming him again? Don't, uh, I know we just say it, man. Like you talking about. Uh, Don't upset see. the demon, you fools! I point to the townspeople. Yo. I mean, we're in a bad spot here because for us, we made this dude. I it's because of me. It's you told him you you lifted him and made him say he's a demon. Now they want to I kill him, and we're stopping it now. Life. Like what I is saved happening? You guys' life, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this situation. The man. hell is this? <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take responsibility. I'm gonna walk brazenly up and say, "Listen, good towns people. I am a demon whisperer. I will quell the evil within this man's heart. You have no need to kill him." <laughs> give me persuasion. I'll give you with advantage because you're role playing really well. Okay. Uh, Tensions my are persuasion, hot right now. My persuasion is plus three. I got a 14 on my first roll. That'll work. Okay. So you okay, you kind of like gather the crowd, they kind of like hush up, watch you. He can speak to demons. Did you hear that? He can then, speak to demons. Okay, so I'm going to walk up to him. And then I'm going to start chanting slowly. <laughs> this is and, the chance. Uh, this is the chance. We've got to. I, I need to convince people that this chant, they need to join in and they need to take off their clothes to make <laughs> it work. If they don't take yeah, off take their clothes... I'll take mine off too, baby. Yeah, you get, you'll do it. Well. We'll all take off our clothes <laughs> and then we'll convince them that they need to do it too. We say, everyone, everyone, you, you, you need to take off your clothes. I'm so sorry, but if we don't do this, then that, that man's life is gone. He's, <laughs> he's dead. We're all dead. We need to do this. Give me persuasion to get everybody naked. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. This is my moment. <laughs> <All right. sighs> Come on. Oh, Come on. Shit. <laughs> no, Dave. It's a one. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> um, all right. Um, you you start telling people to take off their clothes. Uh, Rogar over there, like, starts stripping down. Um, they won't. They all just look at you and like, is, is, is he crazy? We got, we got demon whispers. We got these guys coming in naked. What, what in the world is going on? They all kind of like hush up and stare at you. Uh, right. Yeah, Can you I see like hi. one of the you see like one of the elderly guys. He like picks up an extra coat and like wraps it up. <laughs> he can leave that on. Yeah, we don't need him to be naked. He can leave it on. That's fine. Um, well, okay. what do we do can now? I, uh, can I, okay, I'm going to keep chanting. And I'm gonna, <laughs> this is so terrible. I'm going to walk up to the guy. and I'm, Are they like? Are they still good with my chanting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to die. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to, Hersha bar, da herda bar, da herda bar, diddly uh, dee potatoes. And then uh, I'm going to get to him. And I'm going to embrace him. And as I hug him, I'm going to whisper in his ear, take off your clothes. <laughs> I'll set you free. Um, One disguise is better than none. And so I, I, I want to basically say, like, Oi, it's the only way. You need to take off your clothes and you'll be he, safe. He, he just strips down. Just right on He's the what? spot. He just strips down. Strips down? Yeah, yeah. I take I Just take like instantly, clothes, you just like start stripping clothes off. And then I fold them neatly and I hold them to the sky and say, Behold, your Lord, your mighty subject. It's no longer. This actually evil. works. We need these clothes, so this works. We need these outfits. This so cleanse, works. cleanse yeah. these, these uh, infidels. Um, and then I keep chanting, and I'll do that for two minutes. Can okay. Can Rogar and I join in the chanting and march away quietly? Yeah, my, my, my clothes are already off, baby. I'm, I'm yeah. chanting. I'm going ham. Yeah. Let's go. 
All right. <laughs> Your chat's yes. all different. <laughs> the bass line. It's hard. The friggin' warlock. It's beautiful. Okay. And then I, uh, I, okay, so then I have one set of clothes that I'm going to pull two, two others who seem, can I, like, uh, see if anyone's sympathetic or, like, like enjoying enthralled? In? Yeah, enthralled by it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me... Um, there's a couple of people nodding along. Nodding along? So then I look yeah, at them like and I make grooving. I make fierce eye contact and I say, Hi, lad, lass, quickly, just the lads actually, take off your clothes. We need your help. Um, and then I gesture them over and, and, and say, This man, this man, he's so close to salvation. He needs a little if, push. If, if K. Witty, sorry, if Rogar and I... It, get a little bit more intense with the chanting would that get us a bonus to any persuasion yeah yeah here? you can roll you can roll persuasion with advantage yes okay i'll roll too i guess or oh. does he just need to roll i think so, so I roll uh, with advantage. oh okay so when when okay. you guys do group checks like that um where you guys like help uh one mm -hmm. person will roll and i'll give them advantage um because you guys are like they're assisting them it's kind of how that that works mechanically okay, okay. first roll is 10 plus 3 13. What's yours? That is awesome. Four. Four. Four plus three. Seven. Four. Yeah, four. They kind of like back away. Oh, shit. Oh, is, shit. Is he, is he a pervert? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is he a pervert? <laughs> uh, that's a fair question, bro. We all are naked dancing Ralgar, in the street. The fucking... <laughs> they kind of back up away. I gave him the Kato smirk. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I've got you know a plan. Okay. Right. You you keep chanting and moving. You take him in his clothes. I'll flex for the crowd briefly, and then full door run. flex it. Bro. <laughs> All right. How does that sound? I'll buy you Good. guys time. Because if if this gets if this gets nasty, I'll be more likely to survive. So you're gonna flex for the crowd to what? Distract them. Yes, I'm gonna get up okay. on on whatever high thing I can find a rock, uh, some crate, and we're gonna I'm gonna flex like I mean it. I could use the Eldritch Blast like a, on like the the ground to cause like a giant like debris to fly away. Yeah, we yeah, can make I'll, a I'll escape. Yeah. yeah. Um, Baron, you can give me performance with advantage. Alrighty, let's go. Flex like we mean it. Seven, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm out of shape, okay? I'm all right. Let's go. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, another one. Okay, so it's seven then. Seven and uh, seven and one. We're at eight. You got a one? I got a one. Oh, no. Okay, they, uh... Rogart, they, they now! Don't seem now. Too, they don't seem too en enthusiastic about your flexing, but, like, they're intrigued. Um, they're kind of Treat. watching you. Oh, what's going but on? But they like have a little bit of disgust in their face. Like, Ugh. turn on the fireworks, Rogar. It is time. Eighteen, baby. Oh, let's go. Cool. A uh, cloud of a cloud of smoke bursts up. Sirocco, Baron, we make our escape now. Grab the clothes. We run. We're going. Right. We're going. I have the clothes. Can I like pickpocket someone's clothes or something? Uh, pickpocket their clothes <laughs> from their clothes. Well, you already yeah. pick, you already got the dude's clothes, right? I got when one. You, uh... but you guys don't have clothes. Well, everybody else stripped, right? So I'm sure we got an outfit somewhere. Picked it no, up. No, 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 no. Only you guys stripped. <laughs> oh. Hey, only you guys. Wait, stripped. everybody's stripped. Oh, no, no. well, yeah, only you guys. You didn't. Oh my strip. god! I thought you were with us. I didn't strip. Well, no, not me. Well, in the midst of the, the debris, I uh, freaking steal somebody's clothes. I don't even care. <laughs> you try to like give me a strength check to like try to like push them down freaking. and pull their robes yeah. out of their they head. Rip their clothes. I got you. <laughs> I got a ten. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You push them down. They like grab them and hold them real tight. You got it. They start kicking at you. <laughs> I'm just I'm just killing them. I don't even. I'm just. What the hell? Oh. No, you can't just kill. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab. 
I'm grabbing Rogar. We gotta, I gotta stop him. We gotta just. Oh, we need clothes, man. All this for nothing, Dave. I mean, Bert. <laughs> we don't need one. One pair of clothes is fine. We can do with one. We can work around it. We'll share. And I give him a wink. We're not sharing. We're sharing. I am not sharing any We're clothes Sharon. with you. My sister's name is Sharon. We're sharing. <laughs> Okay, sister. fine. We'll share. Fine. We'll share. We're going now. <laughs> We're sharing Ralgar. Let's go. Um, you guys are able to escape the crowd. Uh, you kind of you you spot Charlie. He's still at the door. He kind of has like this look of disgust on his face. Like, what the fuck <laughs> are you guys doing? Um, sure. kind of like gestures you. What are you guys doing? What? Like, we gotta be scoping. You, we can't. You just caused. Somebody almost got burned. Uh, I suppose almost is. Is not the same as not almost. We're, we're okay. <laughs> That's a good point. And we've got some clothes. We've got clothes. And I think they fit. I think we they have fit, clothes. Uh, You're right. We have. I we think have. they fit Sirocco perfectly. <laughs> We're Sirocco. sharing. <laughs> Beautiful clothes. Now, question for you, Sirocco. Um, this is a gala for wealthy merchants. How how do you expect being dressed as a peasant is going to help you get into this gala? Hi, Charlie. Listen, you came to me for a reason. You watch You're and right. you learn. You're right. You know, I, I shouldn't have second. I'm sorry, Sirocco. Like, I'm sorry. You get your get your man. Let's get out of here. I point to the, the naked fucking dwarf and the seductive <laughs> dragonborn. Um, I mean, I, I think it's in our best interest to scope out the manor. It, it's open for, for passerbys today. They're setting up <laughs> Shit. at the... It's, it's, they're it setting up for the all this time. It's, it's open. You're like, yeah, it's I'm open. <laughs> then I'll... I, I, just, I just put my head down. God. Damn it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us this first? What? I mean, I thought Why? you guys were going to go around the back and maybe look for some, like, back entrances or some open windows or something. Oh, we, we looked for some entrances, all right. <sighs> now they all know oh. our faces. Mm -hmm. I just want to we'll, we'll just blast that. somebody. <laughs> Stop! Eldred blasted people! <laughs> They're like these these help helpless peasants, and you're just like elder blast. <laughs> well, we we have we have given them PTSD for life, man. Yeah. It's like don't even. Matter. <laughs> that one guy is getting oh. massacred because someone thought he was a demon because we picked him up because he was slightly ugly. <laughs> Poor guy. And then um, we save him, tell him to get naked. Then we save him, I can't make it. Oh man. Well, I'd say it's been a productive day. At the very least, we've got that going for us. All right, you know what? Um, I'm, Charlie... I'm just going to walk into the manor. <laughs> Charlie leads you guys inside the manor. Um, you guys enter in, and you guys enter in the, to this this largest room. You can tell it's the largest room in the manor. It's a large ballroom. So there's a, a really high ceiling. Um, there's a lofted wooden stage at one end, and there's this large dance floor is dominating the room and it's gleaming almost mirror like you can see a couple of like the house servants down on their hands and knees like polishing like their life depends on it um you can see uh um who's obviously lord sykar he's kind of there um barking orders um Kind of directing people this way and that as as they're set up for this event, yeah. Um, Psyker himself, he's a clean shaven, well dressed but scrawny halfling. He has dull red hair. It's parted on the left, uh, framing his rosy cheeks, um, his bright smile, and his distinctive twinkle, his vividly violet eyes. Um, and he kind of like gonna, glances over at you I, guys. Yep. Can I uh, nudge Baron and be like, <laughs> your people? <laughs> After, I'll give him a little annoyed look. 
But then, you know what? You're right. Let's go <laughs> and let's use this. I'd like to go over to him and suggest, you know, I, I heard there was a commotion earlier, quite a commotion, and probably you need some security. You can't be trusting these these tall people. They're they're not to be trusted. Oh why uh why but but Tony Squawk's secured? I, I already they were just here. In fact, um security's already taken care of. It's okay. We have security taken care of. Um how can I help you, gentlemen? No, no. You you may think you have security taken care of, but I mean, there was a massive scene. A man nearly died earlier. He nearly died. Can you believe I... that? The crowd were chanting. There was there was nakedness. There was fire. There was a man flew in the air. I mean, you this... don't have security. I can sort you out with security. No, no, no. This, what you're describing. Look, this is this is this sounds like a peasant issue. Okay, if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna take this up, I have, I have. You can go. You can go talk to Tony Squawk Security. That's uh, I've hired them now. If you if you'd like to. Join the security. You have to. You look. You can go talk to Miles. Miles is his name. Okay, he's in charge of Tony's wait, wait, box. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Uh, can I uh, pickpocket him while he's distracted? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Give me, give me sleight of hand. Uh, sleight of hand is plus six. Fourteen plus six is twenty. Okay, um, you pickpocket him, uh, and. He's he's so like caught up in talking to Baron, he doesn't even notice. Um, you reach into like his back pocket and you pull out the small key ring. A key ring. A key ring it has two keys on it. Shit. All right, I keep it. Okay. Continue. <laughs> I'd like to ask. Uh, let's ask the Lord. Well, give me a give me a letter of introduction. And you'll see no more security problems. I look, look, Miles. Miles is in town. Um, I, I think he's staying across from Half Mast Tavern. Um, they're they're reputable. Can they're, I? They've provided security in the past. Now uh, I've never had a problem with them. So I'm going to yeah. lean in close and in a hurried and hushed tone, let him know. But I want to I want to put a bit of fear in him for this. You know, there are people who will kill you. They will kill you, and they don't want to just kill you quickly. They want to kill you in a slow and painful way. Now, I have contacts around here, but if you don't let me help you, if you don't let me help you at all, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal. You should you should definitely let me help you. He, uh... I didn't look at him. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, I look at him. And I stare down his soul as my eyes become bloodthirsty red. And I put the fear of God in his heart. Okay, you guys, and... I guess give me an intimidation. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's go. 14 plus 5. Plus 5, 19. Oof, that's good. 19. Um, you get like a, a glint of fear in his eyes. Now, now, now look, uh, um, a, a lot of people want me dead, okay? I, look. I'm a wealthy merchant. I got a lot of money. I know people who want me dead. Um, but, well, look, if you want, if you want to meet Miles, like I can introduce you to Miles. Uh, just look. look. That sounds sensible. Let's look. Anyway, like, holds up the flyer. Anyway, like, points. But, but look, it says the Tony Tony Squawk's security on the flyer. Look, I I can't change. You know, this is a big gala event. Um, um. If you want to, if you want to get in security, you got to talk to Miles. A wise man. Oh, I suppose that's what we're doing then. Um, I, I, um, I'll, I'll send Helga, Hel Helga to go fetch Miles. Um, uh, town's like thirty minutes away, so uh, maybe an hour. I, I, I don't know. Depends on how Helga. Look, I got a lot of things to worry about right now. Um, it, I gotta go. And I <laughs> kind of like rushes off to go direct more people. Can I let's uh... take a look at those keys? Yeah, can I uh, like look around and see where the keys might potentially lead to? Yeah, yeah. Um, as you guys explore, going off the ballroom, um, on one side you get the smell of the bread coming through. Um, you hear hear a 
pots and pans kind of banging around, um, indicating that it's the kitchen. Um, and in the very back of the ballroom is like this kind of uh, dark wood door. Okay. Is there anybody um, around? Everybody's pretty busy. So the, the house servants are polishing um, the ballroom floor. Um, Lord Sykar is going around. He's already yelling at somebody else um, to get doing their stuff. Um, it seems seems like nobody's paying much attention to the individual actions of things. Okay, Sirocco, gonna... burn. I desire nourishment. I smell bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you must feast. All right, so I guess we're just going to disregard that for a second and go get some bread. Okay. Um, you guys enter into a large kitchen. It's one of the few manor, few rooms in the manor made of stone, not brick. Um, against the full length of one of the wall lies a series of wood-fired ovens and stovetops. Um, there's two great islands set in the middle of the room. There's silver knives and cookware reflecting light off one another. Uh, the prep area is orderly with thick wooden chopping boards and ceramic bowls neatly arranged, ready for work. Um, there's ragged pieces of paper attached to cork board mounted on the wall next to the large iron double door that leads into presumably a cold storage. Um, the air in here is, is mixed with fresh produce and like, things like earthy potatoes. Um, there's a slight chemical hint of cleaning products. Um, you uh, somebody give me a perception check as you enter. I'll do it. Oh, okay, I got, awesome. I'll do it. Perception? Perception. Uh, plus five, yeah. Plus five. Plus five. Nine. Nine? Nine. Okay. Um... You notice there's a bunch of kitchen staff in, humming about, um, and there's this uh, who you can make out to be the head chef. Um, mm -hmm. It's this woman whose um, advancing years are disguised by her youthful skin. She has like a radiant glow to her. Uh, she has silver hair um, and like a simple bun. Um, you can see like a symbol on her on her apron that matches uh like imprints on the bread like little flower imprints um okay you can tell that she's like not afraid to get her hands dirty she's very weathered in the kitchen um Ooh. but she still has like this glow to her um she kind of like takes a look over you um and begins like chopping resumes chopping um what do you want kitchen's busy um, to me? We desire your or... bread. Yeah, as you guys oh. enter in, she like glances up. What What do you want? We are famished. Feed us. What? Face the wrath of Rogar. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good point. She like holds up her chef knife. Now, that's no way to talk to a chef. Slams it down on her board. Oh, yeah, I know what time it is. Eldridge... <laughs> No, Blast. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, you, you Eldritch bro blast her? No, I just, I just threaten her, bro. Like, my, my staff is lighting up. I'm about to <laughs> shake the place down if she doesn't kill some freaking bread, man. Jesus Christ. So, intimidation, <laughs> right? It's plus four. I'm rolling. <laughs> sure. I got 11. All right. Look, you guys, you look like you're, you're, you're too much work for what you're worth. Um, and she, like, tosses you a loaf of bread. Many thanks, Mel. <laughs> All right. Is her name Mel? Ma'am? I don't know. I just no, split. We split the bread into thirds. We each. Where's the you butter? Share? Hold on. Oh, Where's share. my butter? Where's my butter? <laughs> um... are, you, are you seriously <laughs> complaining about no butter? You just stole that bread. So draw, bro. Uh, she just like like scoots slides it across right. the uh, the island. Just this little butter. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> since we've got it now, pass the butter. <laughs> <laughs> butter. 
I'm going to go over to the, the... Is she pretty? Um, I mean, she's pretty aged, but yeah, she's pretty. I'm going to go she's over to the pretty lady and, and apologize yeah. for, for Ralgar. Slaughter piece of gold, bro. I'm just going to eat bread and sit quietly and question my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over and say, I... Sorry, lass, for me friend. He's quite hungry. He hasn't eaten in seven years. Where's the meat? It's okay. I know the type. I'm, I'm, I, I'm used to it. I apologize. We so need meat. What do you do in this, uh, this kitchen over here? I'm the head chef. Chef. Head chef. Tea leaf. At How long service. have you been here, lass? Ten you say, Did you say tea leaf? Tea leaf. Chef tea leaf. That's my name. Oh, chef tea leaf. Oh. I say, ah, I'm a chef myself. Oh, where are you? Oh, yes, and I, I shore my knife. <laughs> ah, that's, that's, that's okay, knife. Oh, yeah? It's just okay? Um, she points above the door, and you see this beautifully crafted, like, Damascus steel knife. Um, it has <gasps> these, like, red etches of symbols you can't quite uh, discern. Um, yeah. Now that's a knife. Uh, I enjoy. Do, would I? Would I know if that's a magic item? Um. Give me. Give me perception. Or uh, or Arcana. Yeah. You can use Arcana if whichever one you want. Arcana. Arcana's plus zero. Perception is plus five. Okay. I got a two. I'm feeling wholly unimpressed by this knife and um, also a little bit a little bit bruised ego. I'm carrying around this magnificent axe. Oh right, you have a magic item. Wait, do I have a magic item? No, no, not magical. Magnificent. Great oh, axe. Oh magnificent. Uh, um you and... can't tell if it's oh go ahead. Sorry. I'd like to slam this down and say, now tell me about this axe then. Hmm? To um... me or to her? Yeah, to, to her. Okay, real what quick. could I cook with this? Uh, real quick, um, Sirocco, uh, yeah. you can't tell if the, the knife is magical. However, like there's a nice glow to these etchings, and like uh -huh. there's almost like red wisps coming off the wooden handle. Oh. Um, she kind of looks ah, nice axe. Looks like it's good for uh, butchering an ox. What's it doing on my cutting board? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I just, the moment took me. <laughs> I'm going to just put my axe away and go and sit down I again. Rogar, Rogar, is there any bread left? Uh, I ate it all. Sorry. Oh, okay. they're flirting. I'm over okay. here getting my nourishment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep making friends with her. I want, I say, I tell me about friends. That knife. I want to be friends with her. Soraka, we don't have lady. time for this. Oi, <laughs> eat your bread, fatty. <laughs> Would you like some butter? <laughs> you said yeah. you used it all up. Hand it over. <laughs> yes, I'm like it is. Give me the bread is gone. <laughs> there is butter. Give me, give me the butter. Um, Greasy cholesterol. That's my, that's my prized knife. I've had it 12 years. It's from the dwarves up north. How come you aren't using it? Ah, it's too precious to waste on cooking like this. Well, then what do you use it for? These days, it's a symbol of a time past. A time when I used to work for the dwarves. <sighs> so nothing? <laughs> you don't, you you don't use it for, for anything? <laughs> It's just a reminder. I need to know who did you work for? Which dwarves did you work for? Um, the Stonehold clan. Who? A name. <laughs> Gimli. Now, I haven't read through the backstory you gave me, Dave. So I can't remember the oh. name of the place because you didn't give it to me until five minutes before session. So if That's the place true. is called Stonehold, 
I'm retconning that and I didn't say Stonewall. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What are you retconning? Um, so she said Stonehold Clan, Stonehold mm -hmm. Clan of, of Dwarves. I can't remember the name of that place that you said that you're from. Um, uh -huh. But Stonehold is the clan name. Unless, okay. unless your town name is Stonehold. I can't remember what that's called. I, it I was no close. To... It was Stonehole. Okay. Um, so it's not the same. They're they're cousins of uh, of the group that settled Stonehall, but Stonehold oh. is further north. The icy further mountains. North, huh? All all of their all of their forgings help keep warm in the icy winter. Dorms in the deep. I don't know if we can trust this person. Do you Me say too. that? Yeah. Really? To her face? <laughs> no, to you. To you. Oh, to me. Guy. Okay. Right. <laughs> just, 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 I don't know if we can trust you. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, yeah, I'm from here. I don't know if we can trust you. <laughs> no, no. I said that to yeah. you. Okay. And okay. Rogar. And Rogar. Okay, Rogar. What are you what's going on, man? Um, what are we trying to, trying to get some info off this lady? What are we doing? Well, here's I'll, I'll here's what I'll say. I'm lady. saying I'll I don't like, think she's trustworthy. I think she's not trustworthy. Um, Rogar, give me give me an insight check. Insight check, I got you. Yep. I got an eight. Do you have a plus anything? Uh, uh, inside is plus two. Okay, you got a ten. Um, so you see you see Sirocco and Baron uh, talking to this elf chef. Um, Ooh, she and she hmm. she seems enthusiastic in what she's saying, and she seems um, like an honest um, person that has passion for her craft. Hmm. You notice this like a third woman. Party. Yeah, I I believe her. My intuition tells me she's not lying. And uh, I'll be like, all right, you know what? It's been a while since I've seen such a skilled chef as such as yourself. How about join us on our journey and cook us bread? No, okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> come with us, feed us. <laughs> it's it's not, a, not a terrible idea. All right, fine. Does he say that? Let's just say he says that. Um. Grant me many sons. <laughs> Wait, this escalated quickly. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? I'm uh, I'm flattered by your friends, but this is my kitchen. This is my home. Okay, then I say hi. No problem. I was kidding. He was kidding. We're all kidding. It's a it's joke. All, it's all fun and games. <laughs> it's fun and games. Uh, what I was really going to say is, why don't we have a cook-off? It will be fun. We can cook for your, what's his name? Lord Psych. Psycher? Psycher? Is it Psycher? Psycher? Psychart? Psychart. Psychart. We'll cook him a feast that he'll never forget. And we'll make it a friendly competition friendly between you competition. and I. She says, and my loser perishes. Loser, loser perish. perish. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. He's joking. I don't believe the word he says. Wait, um, what? I'm intrigued. Friendly competition in what way? Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, sorry, no, don't hang on, don't hang on. Oh, sorry. don't hang on. Okay. What did what happened, Shio? Um she, she, cook, she looks intrigued. What kind she of looks intrigued competition do you say... have in mind? Well, I used to be a chef myself. In fact, I am a chef myself. I've told you this already, so you know. How about... Did I have a specialty, Chio, or something? Uh, I'm sure you cook did. Cook some frogs. Jeez, I have a specialty. Uh, Make frog legs. We'll find some frogs out there somewhere. Kill them. Cook them up. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Sure, frog legs. I say, uh, well, I've given you the idea. Uh, perhaps... The next step is up to you. And I give her a wink. And I, oh, I don't God. caress. I don't caress her. It's just a wink. Seems, Are you hitting on my woman? A <laughs> um, I'm always down for from the competition with another chef. Um, what would you wager? 
Oh, hey, what would I wager? Uh, does Ravel <laughs> have anything on him? That's I take like off value? my clothes. I wager Kicks this. <laughs> You're <That's>... not. <laughs> <laughs> then I, you know, I'll uh, say, we, I'll say, let's put some gold on the line. Clothes. I don't know. I wager. Uh, one night with me friend here, the scaly one. I point yeah. to him. I. That's. I'm not interested. <laughs> what? I'm. Y'all know what. Y'all know what's happening. Don't I'm, blast I'm, her. I get in front I'm of about her. To. I say. I say. Oh, yeah, I was kidding. I was kidding. And then I say, yeah, he's mine. Um, and then I say, all right. And I. Uh, do I have any items on me that are cool? Um. Cool. I mean, you got your chef knife. It's kind of cool. Chef knife. Hi. Okay. You know what I say? I say. Uh, okay. Well, you see, here, a skilled chef such as myself doesn't travel often. Um, I'm not well equipped. That's a lot of information. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, Dave, um, I was shaking the dice, bro. Hold on, oh, man. Yeah? What yeah. is that? What one is that? <laughs> I was... <laughs> one month. Oh, that's these services. I what I wager. <laughs> I. I'm One just saying. That looks so bad. Look, man. Let me just, look, I got my train now. Look, man. I was down here. Look, I'm just shaking, you know, shaking the dice, bro. What are you talking about? Shaking the dice. Uh -huh. you see, you see that clip? That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, I mean, my God. <laughs> the loser shall perish. <laughs> and if you win? I uh, say, hmm, 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 diddly dee, hmm. Uh, I look around the room. The knife. The knife. And I hear Baron saying the knife. And I say, well, what do you have to offer? And I, I do not allude to the knife yet. <laughs> um, I have a month's service. Uh, I mean, really, I just have my knife. I say, all right, how about a month's service and that knife you got over there? You know, I bet I'm a better chef than you. You're on. <laughs> okay, cool. Great. We did it. You're on, lass. Um, Ragar wink. Okay, so... Probably you, Sisraco and Chef Tea Leaf are going to have a cook-off. Um, it'll probably take, take them the a hell. We're about to get destroyed, bro. It'll take them a couple oh, of hours. Oh, sorry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> Is it going to happen tomorrow or today? Um, or are we doing no, it no, for yeah, yeah. Chef, if, what's his name? Or if it's Syker? just a friendly competition, it'll be... She starts, like, gathering mise en place. Oh. Hmm. Uh, here's the cutting board here. Um, I'll let you name the dish. And uh, we can begin cooking. Um, okay. Baron and Rogar. Uh, Chubstake. They kind of like uh, clear out the kitchen a little bit. Um, you see Charlie back and like like starts wandering towards the the bar room. Um. Just uh. So, can I talk to Baron and and Rogar and say yeah. like hi? I'll uh -huh. distract him. This should be this should be a spectacle for the eyes, uh, and then um, uh, perhaps you should look around. And I'm gonna pass Baron the keys that I pickpocketed, and say I stole these off of Stiker. What's his name? Stiker. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, where I'm the, not this. Yeah. Hmm? Where does these keys lead to that you stole? I say I don't know. I just stole them. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this cook off? Any... I didn't. Uh, Do we we want a knife. I want the knife, knife. and okay. it's, it's a distraction. I'm, so, I'm I'm helping you, and me ten thousand gold. I'll go out and find some frogs. How many do um, you need, Sirako? Are we doing frog legs? Is she? Okay? I thought you were doing, doing frog, frog legs. legs. Oh. Doing frog legs, yeah. Oh shit! Is she doing frog legs too? Yeah, yeah, she'll match whatever you're doing. Oh, fuck. oh boy. 
Oh fuck. Uh then well, I... that means we we gotta do we gotta do the, the Chub Chublandia heritage the dish. Ch- yeah, what is that? Oh yeah. you're the native. You tell me. I'm the native. Yes, <laughs> you guys are natives? <laughs> you're absolutely uh, the Chublandia, the most uh, native Chublandian. Okay. Um Jesus. Then uh, we'll have frog legs on the side and the dish will be um jeez, I don't even know. What's a good dish? What's a good food? We're gonna have uh Kay Woody's favorite. We're gonna have uh bread with butter. butter. <laughs> bread with butter. <laughs> We're gonna bread have, with butter yeah, slaps, baby. We'll do uh we'll do we'll do a delicious bread with butter. We'll have we, uh, we need like, some meat though, like Bread you know, with if it's a with, well, with real milk. Yeah. We did get told yeah. that an ox, we've got a good chopping thing for an ox. Okay. All right. Ox bread with butter. How about that? Ooh. Ox bread. Ox bread with butter. Ox, ox bread. Yeah. With ox, 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 ox meat. You know what you mean? Yeah. yeah. Ox like, bread. Like, like How are we going to make bread out of ox? Like well, God, you're going to have to milk the ox Ooh. before you kill it. Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah. We'll give them milk to drink for dinner. Um, Ox yeah, milk. Ox milk. High in protein or something. Fiber. Probably. Yeah. Vitamin E. Ionox. Ionox. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like ox steaks. What's that band, Valgar? Get me some frogs and ox and milk it before you kill it. I can uh cook the uh the ox with my uh my blast, Eldridge blast. <laughs> no, I say no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> ox, <laughs> Eldridge <laughs> ox steak. Mm. That sounds Nuke. that sounds exotic. I'm gonna take my knife up and start throwing it up in there and catching it. Okay. Um, Sorry. you see a couple of servants leave and then a few minutes later they, they come in holding like a little basket. They already have their ox butchered and frog legs gathered. See her start mm-hmm. prepping. Well, they've already gathered it? Yeah. It took a couple of minutes. Oh. Hurry, boys! All right. All right. Uh, I'd like to attempt to just chop this ox into four big pieces. Got to milk it first. Away. Gut it for, we we have to gut it first, off. bird. Milk it. <laughs> you milk, milk it. Milk it. I don't know how to milk an ox. Jesus Christ. I'll do just, it. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, I've got an idea. Rogar. Magic yes. hand milk. Oh yeah, I can use my uh, my sorcerer hand. Yeah, you gonna mage hand the milk? Yes, that's Does right. That make the milk better. It'll make it. Oh, fancier. bro, it just we got to. Yeah. I'll I'll gather everyone's attention. No one will have seen this before. Magic milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? you guys are gonna go outside in the back of the manor, and you're gonna gather the peasants from the field to watch you milk the same peasants that. I'm just <laughs> oh, checking. Shit. The same peasants? There's Aren't only like 12 farmhands. And went you know? home? There's only like 12 of them. Uh, oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. We'll, we'll be caught. We'll be caught. They'll know. The The whole thing will be done. Can I kill them now? Jesus. <laughs> no. Just you Get rid of that. Solve the whole solution. All right. Well, what do we do? Um, Let's see. I guess we just quietly magic milk it indoors to little yeah. fanfare. <laughs> stealth, I, mean, I guess we've come this far. Sure. Yeah. This invisible hand just milking a cow by can I, can, I, re- <laughs> can I request <laughs> one of their assistants or something? Yeah, yeah. Gio? I say, I right, come with me, boy. We need to get ingredients. You're so, my right. bear. So who's, who's butchering the ox? Me. Uh, Davis. Well, Baron. Baron. Okay. Give me, I'm milking. Give me a nature check to see how well oh. you can cut um, cut some meat. A nature check? A nature check. How well do you know your ox? Uh, where's nature? God. <laughs> We're so fucked. Where's the nature? It's all in um, alphabetical all in order skills. on your yeah. page. Yeah. In skills. Oh, it's yeah, in it's skills, right. yeah. Just, yeah, okay. Oh, God, I've got minus one. Okay, this is fine. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my Let's God. Go. It's gonna be masterful. Yeah, you wait and see. You've not seen five. You've, n- <laughs> you've not seen dwarf, dwarven fine great axe butchery. Uh, 
I rolled a two. Okay. It's, one, it's, one. it's a one. <laughs> Why? Rip okay. the ox cut, bro. Can I? Do I know that he butchered it badly as a chef? Yeah. Yeah. You, he he tell. hands you the meat. It's just like mangled. <laughs> like you're already off to a bad start for this meal. So I watch this dog feed. Do it again, uh, 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 Baron. I like. I try and force <laughs> a smile. Maybe you should have milked convince it. <laughs> him that it's, it's actually fine. This this is actually just a new novel way of cutting the meat. Uh huh. Uh huh. I I look to the sky and say, Ah, oh, my lord, what have I become? We could make ox stew now instead. No, we we're set on the dish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, we could butcher another ox. We you gotta milk it first. Go milk it first. I already Again? milked it. I you milked don't it. need more milk. Oh, do we got milk? Yeah, we got milk? enough milk. You yeah, got, you got protein rich <laughs> yeah. ox milk. Thick cur curdled ox milk. milk. So they're they're gonna be butchering an ox, right? Could we could we steal theirs? Replace it? Swap them? Ooh, the cuts of meat. Ooh. For, wait, say that again. Could we like swap out the cuts of meat that we've got for the ones that they've done? Um, as you poke Are your head back in the meat? kitchen, um, she's already she's like terrible. searing off meat. <laughs> oh, she's oh, oh she's that. killing it, bro. Okay, that's off Sirocco, the table. We're going to lose. She's too good. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she's <Sorry>. masterful. <laughs> Go get me some proper meat, boy. <laughs> What are you useful for? <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, you said earlier there was a sheep outside. No, ox Yeah, meat, there was a sheep. Ox milk. <laughs> no, was there no, other no. animals outside? Aye. Right. <laughs> we will make We're euros. Not sheep euros. To recipe. This is the there. recipe. Go get the food <laughs> or I'm going to... I'm going to... Jeez. So, hear me out. No one will know. We'll just say that we've we we've, we've flavored it. It's it's a whole it's a whole new sensation. And look, I'm covered, I'm coated in ox guts, I'm coated in blood. No one will recognize me for a moment. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna scream and shout and scare off the peasants, and then I'm gonna get a sheep and we'll bring that back and it'll be fine. Chio, do I know if I could make it taste better if I use sheep? It'd be different. It'd be different, but could I make it better? Um, like could could we turn this into an advantage? We got we got to roll it, baby. With with enough with with the right amount of spices, maybe yeah. Okay, all right. Then okay, I'll say, hi. Listen, we've got one chance here. Otherwise, I'll be a slave for one month. <laughs> right. Do your best. No, don't smoke it up listen again. Listen to me. Here, I need. I'm gonna hand back the keys. I'm handing back the keys to to Sirocco because. After I give you these keys, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to run screaming and I'm going to butcher a <laughs> sheep in front of everyone. And then I'm going to throw the sheep inside and then I'm going to run screaming out of here until I can find somewhere to wash and sneak back in. Oh, so, all right. <laughs> you, you do what you want to do. A crazy dwarf. <laughs> okay. If you you exit. It's pretty easy to find one of the sheep. Mere nature check. To butcher this sheep. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's hey, go. Bro, something good, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just one good roll. Just one. I'm gonna get let me just get my camera. I'm gonna to move my camera for this. <laughs> oh god. Because otherwise. There we go. There we go. Hang on. I need you to see there. Can you see that? Can you see that dice? I can see it. See I don't know dice. what's on it. Yeah. Hang on. Come on, focus, then. Focus. Is it a one? Is it really? 20. It's <gasps> a 20! Oh! It's a 20! <laughs> Look at Let's that. Go. Hey. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Baron. <sighs> I love it when plants. Shall I milk this sheep too? You know what? <laughs> I enjoy the dead. milkings. Okay. Oh. Um. 
Baron, you are able to masterfully butcher the sheep. Um, <laughs> Go for it. Giving wonderful sheep flinks and whatever whatever cuts Ooh. of meat you desire. You, they, you are just I'm the I'm master. I'm I'm you're I'm in the moment. You're in the zone. You're in the butcher zone. So I need to get that to, to Mr. Sirocco. Throw it so... <laughs> All right, Sorko, you gotta, are, gotta cook it perfectly, bro. You gotta roll stunning. a twenty. Cook it. All right, you're right. Yeah. Um, Sorko, so you see, you see, Baron bring back um, some beautifully cut uh, pieces of sheep, and mm-hmm. Rogar, Rogar hands you a pail of like this thick, weirdly viscous kind of like. This is getting worse. He says it's milk, but uh, you as a chef know that ox are are not. Oh no! Animals. No! 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 Bro, <laughs> what did you? I, what do? did I milk, bro? What did what I? Did you I, do? I, bro, don't Sorry, drink this. Don't just use it as gravy. Don't okay? drink Be right. this. Oh my Cheap god! Gravy. Oh god! Like, you know what I say? I say taste this. Tell me what it is. I am taste not this. tasting that. Taste I will. I'll just. Bl- I will blow this whole. You don't. You place. think it's I'm milk? I'm not though. drinking that. You think I do it's not milk. think it's milk. You I milked the it's penis. Milk. I, it's not milk. <laughs> That's not milk. You talking about? Man. It's, <laughs> it's not milk. Nice. <laughs> 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 right. So you know what you're giving me. No, I. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I thought we was it? milking it, man. Y'all <laughs> yeah, tricked me. It, what is right. this? What is that? Tricked you? I'm, I milked the penis. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we need milk, man. Like, and now you say it's not a female. What is that, man? <laughs> I didn't know. This I, I don't. I don't know what a. Oh my god! I'm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not she, drinking this. I'm not. No. I refuse, she, bro. <laughs> you're not doing this to me. <laughs> but I, I say I. <laughs> I say, <laughs> drink it, man. I say, hey, Rogar, get me some real milk, and I point him to a sheep in the in the pasture. Okay. All right, that's better. And then I'm gonna okay. keep that. I'm gonna keep that in my pocket yeah. for later. In your pocket? In your pocket? I'm gonna keep it like in a, in a jar. In like a, a little jar of, of yeah, ox, ox, of ox milk? semen. Yeah. yeah ox. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I'll pick that. That's just pocket like... cream. No, pocket oh. cream. Pocket <laughs> cream. We'll use that for something else later. I don't know. Mm. Sell it. Produce more oxen. Freeze it. You know what I'm going to try and do, actually? What? If there's any opportunity for me to slip that into their dish, I'm going to take it, Shio. <laughs> okay. I agree with that. Tell them it's ox gravy. Ox gravy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that clip from before now has new context as well. Oh my god. Was that <laughs> the, the ox? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so I think what we'll do for the actual cooking is someone's got to clip that. I'll have, take that. I'll have you do performance against her. We'll do three checks Ooh. each. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Does the sheep give us any advantage? I'll let you roll. I'll the, let you roll the... a sleight of hand to maybe when she's grabbing some more vegetables or something to to cook mm-hmm. with uh, to slip it into her dish. Okay, sleight of hand is plus six for me. Go, go on. Uh, I get three or just one. I'm just... Fourteen plus so twenty. Okay. Hey. Eee. So one of them I will roll with disadvantage. Okay. Okay. So we'll, let's do a little roll off. Oh, okay. Okay. So now it's time to roll. Yeah, yeah. What do I? So you guys, are, you guys are cooking. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do performance. I just unplugged my headphones. One second. It's okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do performance. Or or na- nature for cooking. Mm. Uh, I don't think I have nature. Let me see one sec. I have. Where's nature? 
Nature is plus zero. Performance is plus one. Okay, so plus one. Okay. All right, here we go. Roll number one is 15. I plus one is 16. So you're, okay. you're one zero right now. Okay. Okay. Roll number two. I'll roll with disadvantage. You 11. Slip in, you look, slip plus in one. some ox milk. Into this one? Okay. Okay. Disadvantage, I got a 12. So you're one a, one. 11 plus one. So okay, so 12. Well. So you're out of the three, it's you need to fail and she needs to succeed to do a tie. Okay. So last roll. Last roll. 17 plus one, 18. She got an eight. Um, hey. You cook alongside her. You can tell that she's a, a really good chef. Um, she turns around to grab something out of the pantry. You slip the ox semen into her <laughs> into her dish she doesn't notice um she continues cooking um and at the final you guys present your dishes um yours looks noticeably better than hers oh now this is quality teamwork um she calls in lord Sykar to come taste He comes in, and takes takes a bite of. Wait, wait, wait! <clears throat> while while he, he she's doing that, can I give the keys to Ragar? Yes. Be like, go snoop around, why oh, Don't milk any more oxes. Right, hand me the keys. I will do my best. <laughs> I give him the keys. Okay. <laughs> um, Rogar. So in the ballroom. At the uh, at the one end, there's like this really grand staircase and goes up to an upper floor. Um, you can see uh, a bunch of doors up there. They're all kind of similarly spaced about, like bedrooms. Um, there's one really fancy door, though. It's like reinforced steel. And then down in the ballroom, you see this like at the back, that dark like mahogany wood uh, door that clearly has a lock on it. You are muted. All right, I'm going to sneak into this room using the key very discreetly. The one on the ground floor? Uh, yeah, I'm going okay. to go by myself instead of notifying the other two. Okay. I'm just going to go. Yeah. Don't you... need to roll or anything. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's preoccupied with this, this taste test of the, uh, the cook-off. Yes, yes. Um, you unlock the door. The gravy. Okay. <laughs> and you enter in, and it's this, like, administrative room. It's lamplit. Um, there's two large oak wood desks dominating the middle of the room. Um, there's racks and shelves mounted on the walls. You see pieces of artwork. Um, there's textbooks. There's leather-bound ledgers. There's a bunch of miscellaneous files about... Um, you see that the room is busy with the comings and goings of a small trade hub. Um, in the ledger, every penny and item of goods logged with transactions. Um, it's all like very neatly kept. Um, you see uh, an imposing graceful door of this like footlocker under the desk. Footlocker. Yeah, like like a little safe, but like oh, one of the little like ones the that you like you you no, not fit the under store, a not a little, not a little retail chain. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it looks like the key fits into that. All right. Well, I'm about to unlock this bad boy, and I am also guarding myself because I do not know what is in this. I'm okay. preparing myself for a Ooh. trap. Um, you open it up. And it's this weird, like, rune stone. You don't know what it does, um, but it's obviously either very, very valuable in in some manner. Um, give me a perception check as well. Got you. Uh, let's see. I got 11 plus 2. Um, 13. So you pick up, you, you grab this rune out of this, this lockbox. 
as you lift your head up, up above the desk, you notice this um, mask on the wall that calls to you, and you feel like a pull inside uh, inside your body, like your your fiend that you're tuned to is drawn to this mask. Something is off about this mask. I sense a dark presence from it. Uh, I feel like I should should put it on. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right, Shio, we're putting the mask on. Okay, you I'm put the it. mask on. Um, instantly it transforms from this, like, uh, rough wooden carved mask to this beautiful, elegant, like, um, dark edge lord, I'll say, mask. Um, you feel power, a kind of course through your veins. Um, and you can tell that your your fiend. <laughs> you can tell that your fiend is uh, very happy with this. Um, I've linked an item. His in what? Fantasy his his Ooh. fiend. His he's the pact of the fiend. So his uh. How he draws magic is essentially like a, a, a fiend from hell. Oh. Like a demon. Like a demon lord. Yeah. So he can tell that they're happy. I feel the power! Was that K-Witty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is me! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so I've I've given you a link. You have the mask of the Pact Bearer. It yeah. will allow you to expend a spell um, without actually consuming a spell slot. Once per day. So. Hey, that's a nice mask right there. Cool. So, so now what? Do I just act like nothing happened and go back up to the beast? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I gotta. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to tell them what I found or just tell them there's nothing there. Because maybe this mask it? is. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I fuse with it or something? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm wearing it. Um, oh, You fuse with guys. the mask? Like it's just on your face now? You ever seen the, the movie The Mask, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that, that's is quite that a you? different yeah. image to the one I yeah. had in my mind just now. But, it's kind of. Uh... Yeah, something like that. I don't know. But, uh, you guys could probably tell there's something different about me, but you just you can't you don't know what it is. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you just look completely different. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what is All right, not nah, you know what? There's something off Scratch about it. Me. I, I just uh, looking a I found bit a mask. Strange. I don't. I don't know what it does, but I feel powerful. It's just during the. Beware me. The Fear break. me. Um. Yes. Okay, so you uh, you come out, you see Lord Saigar tasting Sir Brocco's, um food, and he was, like, really pleased. He, like, chows down a bunch. He's really into it. Um, and then he tastes um, Chef T. Leaf's meal, and he's not very impressed. Kind of, like, slides <laughs> hmm. so, Something's weird about this one. <laughs> Something's weird. <laughs> Gravy, bro. <laughs> Can't quite place my hand on it, but uh, but it's, it's like something's uh, off with this one. Uh, I look at a Rogar, very strong place. Place your hand on it. Well, Mr. Care for Rogar, taste, Rogar. Did. But a bit too much salt. Salt. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Are there oh. judges or anything, or is it just like? He's the judge. Yeah. He's the he's the lord. He's the lord. So do we have to stand by our our team dish? Um. Chef Tea Leaf approaches you, Soraka. Well, mm -hmm. I don't think you were better than me, but word's a word. Um, she reaches up and snatches this little case holding the, the knife and <gasps> hands it over to you. Um, this, this knife is a dagger. Mm -hmm. It is um, a magic item. You can quickly prepare fresh cuts of meat from slain creatures. 
um, with expertise. Um, also, when you attack with this dagger, uh, the person that you hit takes an additional 1d4 of fire damage. Um, 1d4 plus 5? No, no, no. So uh, you make a, a dagger attack, and yeah. you get an additional 1d4 of fire damage. Oh, Singes on it, burns so him. On top of the sneak attack. If you, yeah, if you got a sneak attack. It's just, whenever attack. you hit with this weapon, you get an extra d4 of fire damage. Um, yeah. And I'll link it so you can click on it. You can actually just drag that into your character sheet. Okay. Uh, one second. Um, How do I do this? <laughs> Onto my character sheet. Uh, yeah, item. if you open up your, your items. You Battle, field, packed bear, item mass, battle chef, field dresser, that one? That one. Oh, you just drag it on? Yep. Didn't do anything. Oh, here, I got you. Um, okay. I'll drag it on to she, the... She kind of like leans in close. She's like, you know, you're you're a really good chef. You Wait. You've proven yourself today. I'm not sure I have it. Uh, did I give it to Charlie, not you? Maybe. No, I gave it to you. It's right there in your inventory. Oh, not in my equipped hand shit inventory. Ah, <gasps> I do. So you would How just I... make uh, you would make an attack with a dagger, and you would get yeah. an extra d4. Mechanically. Can I equip this somehow? Um, there's not really any equip. Like, you're gonna be rolling okay, with your one... d20, right? So if you hit with your d20, when I say roll damage, you would roll one d4. Plus four, plus an additional D4 fire. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and I I don't add that to actions or anything. I just leave that, right? You just leave it. It's just extra damage. Okay. Mm. All right. So I get an extra 1D4 with that weapon. Correct. All right. Um, so what did she so say? She, she leans in. She's like, you've, you've really proven yourself to be quite the chef. Um, look, I'm, I'm actually catering an event tomorrow. How would you feel about... Uh, helping out in the kitchen. Helping out in the kitchen. So is it, so the deal was the dagger and one month of service. So she is like serving me for one month. Is that the, correct? No, no. The deal was you would either, if you failed, you would work for a month. If you won, you got the dagger. Oh, okay. And then I say, all right, lass. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, you're a fierce competitor. But, well, I'm no better than you. Do you know why? And I'll look at her and wait why? for an answer. Why is, why is that? And I'll, I'll look at Ralgar and I'll say, Well, have you ever milked an ox? <laughs> why would you ask me that? Like, no, I, I, say, I say that to her, oh. not him. I want oh. him to at, be able to hear it. She looks at yeah. you and she's like, I mean, when we hire a new, new kitchen hands, we, we say there's a joke because you can't milk an ox. <laughs> yeah. Does he hear me? Does he hear her? Yeah, yeah. How's how's that gravy for your your main dish? Yeah. I just you know say. what that was. All right, tell me about this job you got um, about this this it's, catering. It's a really important event. It's uh, it's Lord Sykar's yearly gala, and I could use a good sous chef for it. You know, you're you're a really great chef. What's the pay? Um, I can pay you 50 gold. That's 50 much gold. less than 10,000. You know what I'll say? I'll say, we'll talk. We'll talk. I'm in. These boys are coming with me. They're my ox milking friends. <laughs> I'm not sorry. He loves the ox milk, that one down there. Small uh, little dwarf. I'm... <laughs> Can't get enough uh, of it. Ox I'm, milk, I'm bro. just going to struggle to hold that laughter in as okay. best as I can. All right. Okay, All right. So I, I I accept, and then um, do we are we just hanging around in his place? And I say, you know what? Can I go talk to Lord Syker or something? Yeah. You can. Yeah. I mean, Syker's just about in the in the ballroom, kind of bossing people around. So I also want to talk to Charlie and see what the hell we're doing here. What's this ten thousand gold thing? Okay. Yeah, Hi, I've, Charlie. I've somewhat lost track of where we're getting that ten thousand gold from now. Where's the ten thousand gold? Uh, Charlie, like, 
gathers you all up in a corner, away from the guests, or away from the uh, the workers. Um, okay. Look, Lord Sykar, he's going to be selling his prized gem. He's got to have a vault right. somewhere in the house, uh, somewhere to keep all his all his good stuff. Um, is this like a public thing? Do we know, like, uh, that he's he? It, this is this the is, reason for his thing. This is one of the main events at this year's gala. So he's he's finally selling. He's parting with this prized gem. That's how I heard about it through the thieves guild. Um, I was able to pose as a wealthy merchant using a disguise, which is how I got my tickets. I used all of my savings to buy my two tickets. Um, so we know that the the gem is stored somewhere in the house. Um, the house. And on when the is black the... market, it's been valued at at least 10,000 gold. 10,000 gold. Um, so we we need to get the gem, get out of here, and sell it on the black market. So the, the gala is not today. The gala is like another it's, day. Do you know it's when? tomorrow. He like wow. pulls up the flyer and holds it up. 8, 8 p.m. right 8 here. 8 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, then I'll say, ah, oh, thank you, Charlie. Very helpful. Wish you told me before. Um, <laughs> I uh, and... I have suspicions that the uh, the he, like points up up to that uh, reinforced steel door up on the second floor. I have a suspicion that that leads to his vault. Like something in the roof. No, no. So so in the ballroom, it's yeah, like picture this like fancy ballroom. They have like this really nice long stairway up the end like goes up and you have a second like banister second level Uh uh-huh right so there's a bunch of doors up there one of those are steel reinforced like looks sturdy okay he suspects that in there that leads to the vault so it's not the roof it's it's just the second floor of the the estate that leads to the vault and the keys okay so then uh i'll We'll reconvene with with Baron and and Ralgar, and say, "Hi, right, boys. Listen, <laughs> what did we come here for? <laughs> was it not for the ten thousand gold? I ten thought it was gold. for bread. I say, there's just oh, been yeah. a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, say, so Ralgar, could I have the keys back, please? Uh." Do you, do you need those? I use I them need, for the. Uh, what do you need the keys for? I need, I need the keys, Ralgar. Which ones? Did you use both Which of them? I did. Oh, he used both of them. I um, thought yeah. to open the door, and then there was a lock, right? I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. he still has the keys, but he's used both of them. Yeah. 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 There's oh, no. Wow. What do you need these for? Yeah. Oh, and I'll say, well, Charlie over there, he says that Tabald. Might be up. Are they stairs, you? Tell us stairs they are, are there. They are, yeah, stairs leading up to a second floor. So what we could do is we could just go there and break in and see what we find. Or I could sweet talk Mr. Syker, since I cooked him a delicious dinner with ox milk. And uh, we could go from there. What do you think? I like that idea. I think, I think that would mm. work. We have gained his favor and trust with your delicious meal, with ox milk. Yeah. <laughs> I, Baron, yeah, how yeah, do you feel yeah. about this? How do I feel about ox milk? I'm pretty unsettled, really. But other than that, <laughs> I, I think we can handle it. Yeah. yeah. All right, boys. I'll go talk to Lord Syker. Why don't you make yourselves useful in? Milk some more oxes. <laughs> no more ox milk for you. You no can't more. be trusted with that. You can't be trusted with any of that ox milk. Okay. Okay. So I'll go and talk to him then. Okay. He's there directing people. So you can just approach him if you want. Say hi, Lord Saika. I heard you liked me meal. Oh, that, 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 was, that was you that cooked the milk. The, the meal was, oh my gosh, that was such a good meal. Yes, that was good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a good meal. 
Good meal. I'm glad you liked it. I used a special ingredient. Uh, Psyker, buddy, old pal, I'd like to talk to you about what you got in the gala tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes. Um, there'll be dancing, there'll be, there'll be music, there'll be, uh, there'll be food. Um, it's going to be great. Everybody's going to be there. It's going to be the best event of the year. Uh, my, my, Does, my is it public event. knowledge that, that he's selling shit? Yes. I heard you're selling some things. Do you care um, if we could have a, 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 a quick look-see? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm, 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 I'm selling some, some, uh, some very expensive stuff. Um, but uh, for now, it's, it's, no, you can't look. Uh, it's under lock and key. Um, look, uh, it's, it's very well secured. I hired uh, Tony Squawk's uh, security group. Um, it's, you know. Um, I'll say, Psyker, Psyker, listen. Do you like the meal you had earlier? I, I did. It's like, then I'll say, what if I told you I could make you even a better meal later tonight? Just the two of us. Um, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a good meal, but it was it was a little spicy. I'm, uh, Just the two of us, Psyka. You'll never know what hit you. <laughs> give me give me persuasion with disadvantage. With Ooh. disadvantage, all right. He gonna yeah. think it's something else, bro. He's he's, he's really not into the arrogance. He's not easy to persuade this fella. All right. So he's I have fancy. rolled a four, which is probably the roll I'm gonna get, and a thirteen. So. Okay. Uh, I get a four plus something though. Skills, so, so, uh, plus there's, three, so seven. Uh, there's, there's, there's way too much to worry about. Uh, I gotta make sure. Uh, I gotta make sure the food's good. I gotta make sure that everybody's happy. I gotta make sure that this place is super clean and everything goes accordingly. Look, I, I don't have time to to do anything. I just look. Things have gotta work. Okay. Then I said, all right, fine, fine. You drive a hard bargain, psyker. Listen. And I lean in close and whisper in his ear. Uh, and I say, ox milk. And I walk away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just kind of like looks at you puzzled, um, like ponders for a second and just like goes up out of business. Um, and as you say that, as you turn away, uh, the door opens up. And you guys see a group of Tony Squawk security group. <gasps> um. The first in is uh one second. Jimmy. It's all it's all Jimmy. Uh hold on, I just closed everything on accident. <laughs> um Okay. Sorry, that was a big a big mistake. <laughs> no, it's okay. What is a what is a Baron and me, me and Baron are battleground. training in the battlegrounds. You're training. <laughs> okay. Sharpening our skills yeah, for the know. upcoming travels. Yeah. I'm sharpening my flexing skills. I'm still feeling deflated after the <laughs> Okay. Just practicing. Um the the first one in is a tall, muscular human. He's wearing a black shirt, trousers, leather jackets, uh, kind of the collars flipped up. Um, he's got his trademark tan leather gloves on. Uh, oh. The fingers and knuckles have worn down by years of use. Uh, there's a few faded blotches of stained blood um, on the leather. He kind of uh, has a gruff, commanding voice, um, a bald head and intense green eyes uh, kind of pushes in. Psyker! Why do you call us back here? Psyker uh, looks at him, he's like, oh, 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 uh, Tony, Tony Squawks, uh, uh, you, you, uh, Sirocco, I think, it's Sir, Sirocco, uh, this is, this is Tony Squawks, uh, you guys wanted to, to talk about security? Here they are. Uh, I got, I got things to do. Like kind of storms off. So I'm just a chef. The dwarf is the one you want. He kind of like squares up to you, Baron. Oh, you, I hadn't really planned this you know, far. I, I, I saw you guys out there. Don't think, don't think we didn't see you. 
out in that field. You, you didn't see anything. You saw nothing. It's fine. We were just doing some security checks. You saw that man floating around. What was that like? Did you find him? Butchering of the sheep screaming. You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, he wouldn't have recognized me yeah, from that. I was coded in, coded in Ox score. Yeah. Ox, Ox guts. It was Ox fine. No one could have known that was me. But I mean, let's just say, I want to say to him, did you really let that slip? Did you really let that man, that that demon-possessed man under your nose, right as close as that? To the man you're meant to be looking after? The man you're meant to be protecting? Look, I Don't you look, think that's disgraceful? Um, I don't know who you think I am, but uh I'm not just some some stupid chump, all right? I I clearly saw he points at Zarako, clearly saw a little bit of wind. Come out of him. I, I am on to you guys. I know what you did. I'm taken aback. I said, How dare you, sir? Step aside, I'm human. Or just you a chef. The of Rogar. We're going to grab him. Staff. It lights up. What? No, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. How many are there, Shio? Um, there's five in total. Okay. Oh, Jesus. No, it's no problem. I can take out all five, honestly, with the Eldritch Blast, guys. <laughs> I can do it. Okay, well. <sighs> so, what, so what do you want to know about uh, my security outfits? What's up? What's the problem? I feel like Wait, we've been rumbled. I feel like we've been Eldritch Blast blasting him? Uh, so he, he doesn't it. really take notice well. of, of Rogar. He's kind of squaring up against Baron. Okay. I see. Well, in that case, disrespect. Can we goad him? I want to say to him, I think you're and your entire company, they're a joke. You probably couldn't even handle that one warlock over there. I think he would wipe the floor with all of you. In fact, you want to see? I think you want to go? One I think on one. you're Let's all go. protecting those demon type things. I think that's why you're, I think that's why you're not biting. Yeah, it gets in your face and gives you a little push. What's oh, no, your game, you little man? I'm going to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Give me, give me an attack roll. Okay. Oh, God. Eight. And... How does that work? Seven. <laughs> Actually, how does how does how does unarmed work for that? With strength plus six, is that? Yeah. Okay. So fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you kick him, um, or at least you you rear your your foot back and you you let a blow out with your foot, uh, <coughs> perfect aims, um, and he catches you. Reaches down, he catches your foot. Whoa. Twists it. Uh, oh. Give me, give me an acrobatic saving throw or a dexterity saving oh. throw. Jesus, can I choose? Or wait, no, that is, a that's a throw. subset, isn't it? Okay. All right, acrobatics. Let's go. Oh, we got plus two. Sixteen, plus two. Nice. Eighteen. Okay. Okay. So he he like twists you and tries to get you like plank on your face. Um, but you're able to catch yourself with your hands and like you you push back up and you stand up. Um, but he completely just derailed your, your kick in the nuts. Okay, but that's fine. We this we can use this. I'm gonna shout out to everyone. Look at this so-called security. The moment he seems like he's not the favorite because this with a retinue of this wonderful cook. I'm gonna gesture over to Soroka. I beam. Oi. <laughs> Who is just talking about setting up for providing even more brilliant food. And this brute comes in, attacking, outrageous, starting, starting trouble. These men are not responsible for security. They can't be responsible for security. Give me persuasion. Okay, let's go. Come on. <sighs> it's a high check, just so you know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's five in total. Okay. Um... Dave, I don't think you've rolled over a 10. 
I did. I did roll a couple. He got a not twenty. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. You got a twenty on the sheep. That's kill. how you got that meat. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. You save us. Lend me a hand here, Soroko. Um, he he kind of laughs at you, and everybody in the in the ballroom, um, they all kind of like crack him up, and he's like, "Hey, he's he's been security here before. He's oh, we've never had an issue." You know what Soroko I say? stands up. Oh, go ahead. I yeah, I, I stand up, and say, "Hi, this man. He accused me of being a common thief." When I'm a master chef. And I say, outrageous. Really? You can't believe any of his claims. A join in. He's been playing you all for fools. Okay. Uh, Sorago, you, you can give me... We'll, we'll give you guys one more additional check uh, to persuade the crowd. Okay, if there's a high check, they, uh, they have a work relationship. Wonderful people. Believe me. I am Sorago. 18 plus 3, 21. Okay. Um, you see Lord Sykar steps up. He's like, no, no, no. He, no, no. he steps away? Oh. No, he steps up. No, no, no. Uh, look, look, guys. We, we, you guys can't be fighting here, okay? Um, um, look, uh, Tony Squawks, is, he's, he's been with us for years. Um, um, look, uh, I, I don't want issues. Uh, I, I know that they are a, a reputable, good group. Um, I, I don't know what the the issue is here, but uh, shouldn't shouldn't you be in the maybe in the kitchen? Um, and I I don't know about your little friends, but uh, I I can't have I can't little have friends. issues here. Little friends. So did do I know if the crowd's on our side? Uh, they they do not seem to be backing you, um, but they don't seem to be backing him either. Oh no. Okay. Um Baron, you Let's notice say. uh you do stand taller than than Lord Sykar, Baron, by the way. Don't know if I want to let that comment lie or not. <laughs> okay, I have to say, little friends, you should know better than most. Uh I Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and he like he like reaches into his backpack and like quickly slips on some platform uh, like boots, <laughs> and then he, he stands <laughs> visibly like three inches taller than you. Look, look, I I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I I don't know what you're getting at, but uh, clearly you're you are shorter than me. Therefore, um, uh, little little friends is adequate description. I'm flying into a rage. That's that's no flying into rage. He doesn't I'm like the short him. jokes. I'm sweeping <laughs> him. Those he's gonna be on the floor. I'm flying in, so we're we're raging and we're sweeping him. Okay. Give me. I stop Baron from doing this. <laughs> you want to stop him after your Eldritch Blast all the time? I mean, bro, what are we doing? We're possibly trying to win this guy over. He's about to sweep yeah. him, dude. What do you? Yeah, he's gonna sweep him. <laughs> gonna take him out. If you want to stop him, you can use either strength or dexterity, so acrobatics or athletics. Dude. Little uh, contest rules. Okay. Oh, let's I'll do it. This. Athletics. All right. Yeah. Athletics. Let's go. Come on. I got a seven plus one. I got a nine Eight. plus six. Oh, my God. When oh, it counts. Easy. Oh, sweep them. All right. Baron, <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, Baron, Morocco, I can't them. stop him. <laughs> Um, his his Bye, legs go up. Boys. His his platform shoes fly across the ballroom. The whole crowd like <laughs> fixates on him. And they like, Whoa. um, and he hits hard. Out! Look, look, look! I want you, I want you out. You are you are banned from my manor. I, I I never want to see you around again. You you have insulted me. You have you have trespassed on my property, Miles. Escort them off the property. We've already caused this much trouble. We might as well blast them into oblivion. <laughs> Eldritch blast. <laughs> Blur. I got a three, so yeah. Are you attacking you, him? You wait, who are you yeah, attacking? Uh, I <laughs> shot the whole facility, bro. I don't care. Yeah. Everybody around. I got a you, three. They don't even you whiz out an Eldritch blast, it hits the chandelier and like one of one of the yeah. candles like falls and hits against the ground. And now you're you you're you're ruining my home. Get out. <laughs> um Tony Squawk surrounds you guys. 
Uh, Sirocco, what are you doing? You see Charlie, like, over in the corner, like, with the crowd kind of, like, jeering on. Like, oh, yeah, jeering, get, out, mean, get out of the house. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he's, like, sorry. acting like he's not with you guys. Yeah, I just want to... Um, so oh, they're, like, surrounding us. I'm clearly part of this group, right? No. No, I'm not part no, of... No, because you were uh, buddy-buddy with... with, with uh, with Lord Sycar. And I'll be like, oi, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll join in. I'll be like, get these boys out. Ruin oh, your fine stop. establishment. I'll remember this. Get them out of here. And I'll, I'll try and uh, go back into the background uh, towards that door. Okay. With the vault. Okay. Uh, nobody takes notice of you. No, oh, very good. We will remember um, this. Right. Sirocco. So that's not my name. I'm Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> this works. This this works. You so, know what? Miles and the Tony Spox surrounds you guys. They kind of like all uh, gather around you and, and grab your arms and like start escorting you out the door. I'm not going to do anything other than some token resistance. Okay. Soraka, what are you doing up upstairs? Um, I'm going to make a beeline for the door as stealthily as possible. Hopefully no one notices me or give anything. Give me a side check. Okay. Uh, stealth is plus six. A one. <laughs> okay. Um, you, like, you fumble. You fall up the stairs, essentially. Um, everybody's kind of cheering as as these guys are escorted down the door. Nobody really takes notice. Um, yeah. I say, oh, but you, oh, are, you are so ungraceful. Me heart, it's like this. I'm not used to such violence. violence. I'm going to kick up more of a you, fuss now. Buying actually, some. You you twist your ankle. You take two points of damage, and you oh. move at two thirds speed until Ooh. you get your ankle taken care of. Oh no! Serves you right. What are you talking about? Freaking Fucking you left the blast of the chandelier. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Okay, I take two points of damage. Do I need to mark that down or anything? Uh, no, not for, not for okay. this. Okay, you got it. Okay. Oh, 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 I just start mumbling on. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, you can get up to the door. You, It is locked. Uh, it does look like one of your keys will fit the lock. I will open Ooh. and then lock it behind me. Okay. Um, you enter into um, a long hallway. It's one of the few areas also made of stone. It's above the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, the hallway is cold. It's dimly lit, narrow. There's a faint smell of old dried moss. Um, oh, lovely. At the end of it, you see... Uh, like a really fancy reinforced double door. Um, next to the door, you see this like brightly colored parrot. Parrot? Parrot. Bird. Okay. Uh, sitting on like a little uh, protruding stick thing. Um, can't think of what I don't called. say a word. Not a word. Okay. Um, on the door, you notice there's two uh Two chunks that have been taken out that look like you fit like a like a physical thing you put inside to get each side to unlock. Oh no! And then slapped across one of the doors is uh is a sticker that's Tony Tony Squawk security. Oh no! Um, uh, there's no way I could lockpick this or anything, right? No. Rogar and Baron, either of you, can I get a perception check? A what check? perception? Mm -hmm. Perception. I'll do it. Okay. Oh. I got this. I hope you do. Seven plus two? Nine. Nine? Uh, yeah. Baron, give me one as well. All right. Okay. I will roll over ten. I will. I got a four. Okay. Uh, you guys you guys get escorted. They they take you all the way out to the far end of the, the driveway, all the way to the gate. And kind of shove you down. Um, as they turn, Rogar, you see on a, a keychain on Miles' belt a rune stone 
like the one that you found in the lockbox. And that's where we'll end. Bye. Bye.